Alright. Welcome everyone, this is Spirit Rose Wolf here for my first ever live stream on Twitch.tv. And the first game I'm going to stream is Dynasty Warriors 9. A recent game that had just got released uh, about a month ago. And, well, let's just say it's very controversial at, controversial at this point in time. But I want to play through it just to go through the story mode and just see how, fu how much fun I can get out of this game. So, uh, before we start, I will go through the options. And as we see here, this is the difficulty setting and I will be setting it to chaos mode. That's right, I'm going to play through this Dynasty Warriors game straight, like from the beginning to the end, on Chaos difficulty. I know that sounds a little extreme and masochistic, but you'll see why once we get into the game. Uh, the music settings are good, volume settings, okay. Wait. I must realize my ambition to serve the people. I hope you enjoy this as much as I will. <laughs> Not even gonna comment on that voice. Alright, everything looks good. So, we'll start the story mode. And as you see here, I'm pretty much already have... Uh, some story modes unlocked. Oh, hold on a second. All right, I'm back. Little distraction. Nothing can stop me from doing this live stream. All right, so as you see, I already played through some of the story mode. Uh, I didn't realize that my save file was still kept. I thought I deleted it, but I guess I'll just have to go with it. So, holy crap, level 77. Uh, maybe the stream's title might not be exactly correct even so we're probably not going to start with Cao Cao anymore since I've already gotten to s chapter 5 so instead we're going to start with a new character that I haven't played through in chapter 1 ah hello Scar the Fox nice to see you in the chat today alright so in terms of the characters that I haven't played yet that start on chapter 1 there is only Shao Yuan. Alright, maybe I should have planned ahead before I got to this. Yeah, it really seems like another distraction. You know, I really th thought that sign would be more apparent, but I guess not. Okay, so I have decided that I will start the game as Shaho Yuan. Oh, that voice. Alright, begin the new game. Happens to me a lot, I never plan ahead. I know, right? I thought I planned ahead by erasing my save file. So this could be a fresh new game, but it turns out it didn't work probably have to experiment with that later. Also one thing I could critique about the game at this point is the terrible god-awful load screens out wait. During the end of the later Han the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Jiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people, winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt 
against the Imperial Court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The Imperial Court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. Alright, before we get interrupted by another cutscene, might as well finish my thought before we get into it. So, the load screens are absolutely terrible in this game, especially in the Xbox One version. Where's the glory to be had in defeating a bunch of peasants? I hear that their leader is a sorcerer by the name of Zheng Jiao. If I can claim his head, I'm sure to be richly rewarded. I can't believe I'm stuck here in the countryside after living in Luo Young for so long. Could my luck be any worse? The peasants rose in rebellion at Zheng Jiao's suggestion, right? What a nuisance that guy is. These supposed allies of ours take apathy to new lows. I'm starting to question our chances of success. Hmm. My sense of honor makes it somewhat difficult to put down this insurrection. Shaho Yuan. He was the cousin of both Cao Cao and Shaho Dun. He was skilled in the martial arts, especially with a bow. Even though he doesn't use a bow in this Shao game. Shaho Yuan helped with the Oops. efforts to put down the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Little did he know at that time that it was merely the opening chapter in Cao Cao's cousin Dun. The Yellow Turbans are peasants who had no choice but to rise in rebellion, right? Indeed. Are you also questioning our orders here, Yuen? I can't say I'm thrilled about them. They may come from the Imperial Court itself, but I wonder what our Lord thinks. Speaking of which, where is he? I have no idea. He said there was something he wanted to go see. Well, whatever the case, our only option is to follow wherever Cao Cao leads us. That goes without saying. So, should we go look for him, or what? Can I just say that that voice for Shaho Dun just does not fit him at all? Oh man, the voice acting in this game is gonna take a while to explain once we get into it but I really don't feel like talking about that right now it was a huge problem while the game was developing but for now let's just continue with the story you like the guy's hairstyle which one the guy without the helmet yeah it looks pretty good that's why you agreed to help put down the yellow turbans, right? Indeed. Though I served as an official in Luoyang, I never really saw the plight of the people. However, the world is in more trouble than I ever anticipated. But South South's hair, that is definitely the goals. The state of this region appears to have been caused by more than just the yellow turbans. There must be something else behind it as well. Hmm? Excuse me. I heard that you are here to help put down the yellow turbans. Oh yes, snap, it's best dad. <laughs> are you also a member of our cause? My name is Sun Jiang. Like you, I am part of the subjugation force assembled by the Imperial forces. I've just received word from our scouts that a yellow turban army is marching on this village. Could I ask you to assist with its defense? This village has already seen more than its fair share of suffering. We would be honored to help defend it. You have my gratitude. Now, 
Let us repel the darkness of tyranny wherever it may arise. The darkness of tyranny. All right, dude. No need to get all deep on us. Oh shit! Targeting the village. Straight into a battle. All right. But before I actually go out there, I want to set up my equipment. And because this isn't a completely new, fresh game, I have some weapons that I really shouldn't have at this point. Wait. I wonder, can I actually equip him with stuff like the fans? Okay, this... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, can he actually equip the, uh... The chain whip? Let's see. Where's the chain whip? <gasps> oh my god, he can! He can equip an, a female-only weapon! Okay, I actually want to see what this looks like. Uh, I know this is really silly, but fuck it, I, I, I... You can't do this in other Dynasty Warriors games. It's just that hilarious. Alright. Experience plus three. No, I want one with... Restores 13 stamina. Toughness, okay. Get all the, all the defense I get, I can get. And I'll equip some Vitality Powder, which refills health whenever I use it. Just in case, I'm going to equip a Spirit Powder, which punches my Musou Gauge. I'll get into what a Musou is later, because that's something else as well. And to upgrade points. Let's see. I can upgrade point. I can uh, distribute upgrade points that I get at level ups. To a certain stat of a character. So, Shaho Yuan has a pretty low defense stat or toughness stat, as it says on the right. So, I'm gonna increase that a little bit and then give the rest of my points to his Musa meter. Hmm. Alright, that seems good. Let's see. Oh my god, he can use the chain whip. And it looks as silly as I thought it would be. It's also like an endgame weapon, so... These guys, even on Chaos Difficulty, don't really stand a chance against me. Literally, that's it. Oh shit, Sonic the Hedgehog. Walked into the fray. Well done, you win. Okay, this might present a problem. At this point in the game, officers can deal substantial amount of damage. Or not? Wait. Yeah, because he really didn't do that much damage to me with that one hit. Usually. He does like an entire health bar's worth. I'm starting to regret actually starting the game before I made sure that I erased my save file. I, this could be a perfect time to show Alpha Muso attack, which is a special exclusive attack where you become completely invincible and do this super awesome special sexy attack on the enemy. That attack is dependent on a yellow meter at the bottom left screen, which I probably should have explained before I used it all up. But as you see, the meters at the bottom left are the blue one, which is, which indicates my health. The green one at the bottom, and there he goes. The green one at the bottom, which represents my stamina, which allows me to run fast like this. And the meter at the middle represents yes, my Muso attack, which is the whole request. special attack thing that now I just used on. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. Look at my sexy post. I was fighting in this battle. Of course we won. Well done. I couldn't do it better myself. And <laughs> people say this game is boring. So he did use his bow we have driven once, the only once, that was headed this way. but his that weapons, his main weapons aren't his bow. I still feel sad about ah, that. You did it. I could tell there was something special about you from the moment I first saw you. 
you definitely stand out from the rest of this crowd. It is a great honor to be fighting alongside you. Thank you again for your cooperation. I apologize for my sudden request earlier. Uh, what the hell was with that fade out? Just thank you for the job. Fade out. Oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> I originally reported it to Master Dong Zhuo. However, he said there was no glory to be had in protecting a single village and didn't wish to spare the troops. Dong Zhuo of Liang Province. I do believe he has been given the responsibility of leading our forces in this battle. It is not as though he is without troops of his own. As such, it is likely that he is only looking out for himself. Yes, I thought the same thing myself. It is immoral scoundrels like him that cause unrest such as this in the first place. There is little point in lamenting that fact now, though. Our primary focus should be on putting down this rebellion and restoring peace to the land. Huh. This situation reeks of greed and opportunism on all sides. I have a feeling this battle will not be resolved so easily. I mean, if it right was, we'd that, have a pretty short game on our hands. Suspect some of our allies just as much as the enemy. We should probably watch our backs out there on the battlefield. Now then, let's get started on our preparations. We can meet up at the village entrance once we're finished. Okay, so before we actually set up any stuff, I'm going to de-equip this Phoenix Spine EX Chain Whip. And go back to our normal Chaos Rods. Yeah, his weapon are rods. Uh, I still have to get used to that. Cause so many characters share similar weapons, and some of them just don't make any sense to the character that, they, that wields them. Uh, the biggest example would be Zhong He, but we'll get into that once we get deeper into Wei's storyline. But anyway, we have some little cameos here. Uh, we have Zhong Fei. Let's talk to him. You're with the Volunteer Corps? You fight better than the so-called professional soldiers out here. That man over there is especially impressive. My lord has had nothing but good things to say about him. Well, naturally, after all, he's my brother. <laughs> he's my brother. <laughs> what the fuck was with that line delivery? I say, you look nothing alike. <laughs> I really shouldn't be laughing at that. I am known as Guan Yu. I believe our meeting here is some kind of fate. I hope to see more of you both. If I ever see you again, it'll be the last thing I'll regret. We are volunteer troops. We're fighting in this battle in order to ease the suffering of the ordinary people. The Yellow Turbans themselves began as suffering peasants. I would like to bring salvation to them also, but unfortunately that seems impossible. God, this game is so funny. Yeah, it definitely is. Sometimes for the wrong reasons, but some other times for the right reasons. And it's mostly because of the voice acting. Hey, get on in here. Okay, let's check the shop real quick. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, I just realized I don't have much gold on me. Kind of bizarre considering I played a couple game, a couple of story modes. Increase the length of your health gauge. Nah, I don't need that. Well, I can craft stuff. I can craft stuff. Uh, but... I don't have... An, 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 I don't have enough materials to do anything. Oh, wait. No, I have the materials to make this new, better weapon. But it seems I don't have the scrolls in order to make it... Yeah, in order to make... In order to craft weapons in this game, you need both well materials well to make done. the weapon... But you also need scrolls in order to know how to make them. I don't have a s enough scrolls to know how to make it, so... 
We're kind of boned at that point. All right. All right, we'll buy some stamina powder. Oh, wait. It's going to use up all my gold, so I'm just going to buy that. And a couple fire arrows, because those are pretty damn useful. Do please come again. And it seems like that's all the preparation we can do in this village at the moment, so we'll just head straight on into story mode. Into the please story. Take this. I'll accompany you as far as the Imperial Cap Forces camp. Are your preparations complete? I don't know why they didn't voice that line, but yes. Let's head straight to the capital. Why don't you need that increases your health bar? Uh, because I'm probably not going to get hurt all too much in this story mode. You'll probably see why once we get into another battle. But for now, I think this is where we're going to meet a new care. No, we're not. Ended. Okay. Never mind. Long live the yellow turbans. What's troubling you, Cao Cao? That's the chant the Yellow Turbans keep saying. Long live the Yellow Turbans! Oh no, Cao Cao's gone rogue! Satisfied with the corruption that Whoa, runs check out that rain graphic. They are not part of this uprising. Oh, it's even getting even the clothes we wet. That's Zhang pretty Zhao neat. I never I never noticed that before. Is Jeez, there are a lot of place. little nuances in the graphics feel their sentiment about the Han that I've correct. never actually bother to look at well we can't simply let things continue on as they are the longer Pretty this awesome. rebellion goes on the more people will be drawn to its cause not only that but a land under the yellow turbans just doesn't sound all that appealing to me hmm. you are both right no matter how righteous one's cause is they are simply mere bandits if they approach it without discipline. Although you must admit, their leader has now, some swanky looking hair. Zhao and put down this rebellion. Then we can focus on dealing with the root causes behind it all. All right. All right. So, <laughs> all right. I will not stop until I slay the yellow turban leader, Zhang Zhao. There is no room in this land for those who operate outside the law. Okay, so our main objective with these three is basically to get rid of the yellow turbans as quickly as possible so they can deal with other internal affairs. Now, this is where the game gets a little more open, and by open, I mean an open world that spans from all the way to the other side of the land just take a look exactly how huge this open world is yeah they really went all out in this game this is technically the first dynasty warriors game that they've ever had an open world system and i must say it, it does have its problems i will get into that as we traverse through this place but i think it was a nice inclusion it it was certainly an experiment that they tried their hardest with. But anyway, into chapter one, suppressing the yellow turbans. The peasants have united in rebellion, no longer willing to tolerate the oppressive government. Defeat Zhang Jiao, the leader of the yellow turbans, and suppress the chaos. Now that is our main goal in this chapter, to get rid of Zhang Jiao, who is held up in Guangzhou. The town of Guangzhou, all the way across this huge spanning river. So we have to make it all the way over there, but the thing is, is that we also have a couple of little side quest missions all throughout the land, along with a couple of main officers around here. As you see, there's Dong Zhuo, the person we were talking about earlier, and the three brothers that we were speaking to in that old uh, village. In fact, I think that's the same village that we were at right now. And if we look down here, there is Sun Jian and his posse. Going straight to the mission, defeat Bo Sai. Bo Sai, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a level six mission. And so we have to eat. So we have an option. We can, oh. 
<laughs> what the fuck was with that? Moan. <laughs> Zhang Jiao has summoned mysterious troops at Guangzhou. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that this guy has fucking magic? We're fighting a fucking wizard in this weird ass game. Scar, you're right, this is a pretty funny game. But anyway, what was I saying? Uh so we can we have two options that we can do in certain chapters. We can either handle all the side quests that we come to our that we come our way, or we can head straight to the boss and defeat him. This game is very open like that, where you can pretty much just end the chapter by going straight to the boss. The problem is he's level twenty-three. And we're at level seven at right now. And because this is Chaos Difficulty, we're not going to stand a chance against him. So the way this game works is you go through these side quests. And with every side quest or main side quest that you complete, you lower the difficulty and level of... Well, not the difficulty. You lower the level of the final boss of the chapter. So say Zhang Zhao is level 23. If we do a certain uh, side mission like the people side, which we will go to do right now, we will have certain results that will grant us an easier time in the final battle against Zhang Zhao. Yeah, I love their swords. Yeah, the weapons in this game are pretty cool looking. They must be powerful. Uh, if you were talking about the generics that were running beside us, eh, probably not. Okay, defeat both sides. Completing this mission will allow your. I didn't read that in time. Now, take defensive positions. But anyway, here is our mission. In this vast battle right here, we have to find both sides and take him out. Once we do, it'll just complete this whole mission and everyone will run away. That's no fun, so let's try out some of Zhao Yuan's moves. Alright, so this is his main attack chain. Pretty simple. He's very slow, but eh, nothing too special. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's what I get for experimenting. And <laughs> that is Chaos Difficulty What's in a this? nutshell. An enemy raid? Yeah. Keep calm. Everyone. You don't pay attention, and your ass gets burned like hell. Okay. I just realized that I completely forgot a special mechanic in this game. The Reforge system, where you can reforge gems with certain qualities, like, say, boosting a stat or giving a certain elemental affinity onto your weapons and onto your special attacks. Uh, what are they called? Your trigger attacks, which is a special battle tactic where you can basically do some pretty interesting moves on enemies. So we're going to... <laughs> yeah, you told me. I didn't listen. So we're going to equip Shaho Yuan's weapon with some gems in order to uh, make it more powerful. So for launch, we're going to equip... Let's see. Ligong Gem. Muso plus 4 seconds with Lightning Elemental. Uh, elemental damage. Not really that worth it. A Solar Gem. Attack plus 16% with Fire Elemental. Elemental attack damage. Ooh, Fire. That sounds pretty good. So I'm going to add that there. Oh, I, I just remember that I always equip this... Kuafu gem to counter because it also it comes with counter damage plus 12% so I always want that stun we're going to equip a another solar gem or knockdown we're going to equip a either be crystal gem with ice elemental or a Thunder Gem with Lightning Elemental. Oh, wait. Ligong Gem is better than the Thunder Gem, so we'll go with that. 
And for Guard Break, I usually just equip these Scourge Gems because they have a lot of strength pluses to them. So, strength plus 12, and that's basically it for reforging. Just to be safe, we got a couple points. So I'm going to distribute them to his defense a little more. Strength plus 2, check nearby items. Toughness, yes. We are basically ready to fight now. Fire! I did, I did equip the fire. So now, if we use a trigger attack here, it is fire elemental, and holy shit! Okay, these guys aren't kidding. I definitely need to put on my A game here, so... Launch him in the air! Bam! Alright. What you want to do in this game, most of all, is to juggle these enemies as much as possible. And holy shit, what the, what the hell kind of move was that? Well done, you I should also stress out that I've never really played a Shahu Yuan in this game. This is my, actually my first time playing as him. Or anyone who's had this weapon. <gasps> oh. <laughs> From the death cry, Shahu Yuan made it. Kinda sounded like he died there. No, I was just panicking. I see both sides over there, but let's take out this assault captain before we get ahead of ourselves. Also, she's a vitality powder. Let's increase our health a little more. And done. Ah, nice. Wait, what the fuck? What did I just do there? Okay, so another feature in this game is if you get an enemy to a certain amount of health, if you get an enemy down to a certain amount of health, you can issue a sort of instant kill, where it's indicated by a the Y button floating on top of the enemy's head. You press it, it basically instantly kills the enemy, which is a godsend when you're fighting officers. So if I can show it off with both C, because it looks like he's about to die, and there we go! An instant kill. And because I kill both C, that ends the battle. So just let the dialogue roll a little bit. Don't you try to ambush me? And you see all the enemies are basically running away. I was fighting in this battle. Of course we won! Yeah, where's your god now? You're definitely special. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right, and that's somewhat of a basic analysis on the combat. And by completing this mission, we get a couple of topaz circlets as a prize. Nice. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. I didn't really pay attention there, but I think it gave us an indication where certain missions uh, levels got lowered. So that's a good thing. Actually, I think that was the reason why I came to this mission in the first place. Oops. Pay attention. But anyway, that was the first mission. So, let's see. This seems like an important one. Defeat Zhang Liang. Because I think it's indicated by the high level, it would be better to do that mission. Ooh, Eugene! Another famous officer. Okay, we're getting straight to that mission instead. Man, you're good at this game. Uh, kind of. Once I get to higher levels and get Shaho Yuan a better weapon, I'll be even better. Alright, seems that attack, that arrow barrage attack, oh, let me lock onto this guy, that arrow barrage attack is used when you use, is, is, is activated when you use the knockdown trigger attack, which is, <laughs> I'm acting, <laughs> oh, what was I saying? Uh, that barrage attack is activated when you use the trigger attack knockdown, which 
you use when you hold down the R1 button and then the A button. Yeah, you bring up the trigger menu by holding down the R1 button. Well done, you win. An Too easy. <laughs> also, you when you put away your weapons by pressing the control stick, by pressing down a control stick, you have free you have freedom to run basically. That's pretty much all it is. When you have your weapons out, you can activate the trigger menu, which obviously when you're not in battle it's kind of a waste. This could be a perfect opportunity to see some of Shaho Yuan's other trigger attacks, because I've only been using his knockdown attack. Okay, so that's the launch attack. Using that in battle will launch enemies and basically Shaho Yuan just jumps into the air and takes them out. Stun! Alright, using that will basically stun the enemy and special. Now this one is interesting. So the special trigger attack is a very exclusive attack that basically is different for every character. So for Shaho Yuan, it's... Oh, now he uses his arrow. Oh, of course. Also, the special, it has a bit of a cooldown, as you see by the blue aura on the special trigger menu. So it takes time for it to refill. Also, I just remembered something. There's a certain accessory that I don't have equipped at the moment that I really want. Restores 3 plus health every 1 second. Here it is, the Vitality Belt. So with this accessory equipped, as you can see at my uh, health bar, it's being refilled after every 3 seconds. So, in a little bit, I will basically have full health once again. It saves a lot on... It saves a lot of gold on buying vita... On, it saves a lot of vitality powders when you're in trouble. And basically, when you're traversing through the land, it's nice to have. Vitality powders is... BRB, alright. We're basically just traversing the land at this point, which... Another thing that I just realized, I don't have my main horse. I have the default horse with his, which is slow and shitty as all hell. And I'll make do once I get to a main town so I can equip my horse. Right, rescue Eugene. You'll be able to attain Eugene as an ally if you complete this mission. Choose your words carefully, Master Baoshi. The men will lose morale if they hear you. And there he is, Eugene himself. Another famous officer who we will have the opportunity to play as in a later chapter. For now, he's an ally that we need to rescue. Some pretty kick-ass music in the background as well. Alright, straight into battle. Hey, you're not gonna shoot arrows at me. I'll shoot arrows at you! Haha, <laughs> of course. Back. Oh, hey, Scar. Let's see you back again. Ah, there he is, Eugene himself. And you know what? Looking at his model right now, it seems like he's using a trident. The weapon he's usually using in other games. I mean, by other games, I mean Dynasty Wars 8, which was the game he first appeared in, so. I'm glad they kept his weapon, at least. But anyway, this officer is a complete joke right now. But that's the magic of juggling until we get the instant kill motion. Alright, since they're all gathering up, it's the perfect time to use a Musa. <laughs> I have earned my reputation! Damn it. You know, a part of me kind of is upset that the main voices of you know, the, these characters from past Dynasty Wars games didn't come back for some reason. I think it was due to a copyright infringement or something. Uh, either way, 
I'm a little bit saddened by that, but these new races are both... It's... The best way I can explain it is they're bad in the best way possible. Like, they're so bad that they're laughably bad. And that's usually the best type of voice acting. Even in uh, old games like, say, Resident Evil, where the voice acting was so terrible that you just can't stop laughing at it. In this game, it's sort of the same. What, what am I doing? Wong Xiao, you're the last officer here. And, wait. No, my weapon's supposed to be out. There we go. Wait, why was, why was he on the ground for a second? I don't think I hit him there. I gotta admit though, Shahu Yuan's uh, launch trigger is pretty damn good. I don't know, maybe it's because he has high attack stat. <laughs> Save me! I'm grateful for your reinforcements. We will work with you in order to bring a swift end to this rebellion. Oh, right. And now we have Eugene as a partner. And by doing this battle, we have lowered the level of rescue Zhang... Zhang Mao over here. I think it was like level 10 before, now it's level 7. Yeah, that's basically how it works. Any level that is close... Any uh, mission that is close to the one that you have just completed lowers its level once... Uh, you complete that mission, so I didn't explain that correctly, but oh well. God, the line at the end of the special was funny as hell. I know, right? Some kind of marking on both Huyang and Ye. We should go and investigate them. Huyang and Ye. Chao has been defeated. Destroy the ritual tools. Oh, he gave me an indication on one of the missions that we will do later on. I believe. Yes, here it is. At Yi and at Puyong, destroy the ritual tools. Doing this mission will result in, I believe, I believe it's a boon for when we face Zhang Zhao. Uh, so I guess we're going to do that as well. I guess he wanted to lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, probably. But in the middle of a battle against me? Not the best choice of action. Oh, because we saved Eugene, he now follows us. Nice. Alright, so... Since our next mission will be at this, at Puyang to destroy the ritual tools, I'm going to use this game's godsend of a feature and... Quick travel! By using one of my allies. Soldiers, honest. 
After reviewing my strategy, your efforts are a moment <clears throat> for us all. Was my mic off this whole time? Ah, <clears throat> uh, god damn it. Well, the show must go on anyway. So, uh, what was I saying while the mic was off? Yeah, it was. Damn it. Alright. Uh, so basically, I was just talking about uh, camps. Uh, yeah, these type of camps, basically indicated by the swords and such. So camps are basically uh, small little battles that you can partake throughout your trails. Uh, defeating, taking over certain camps can uh, basically make your job a little easier in certain uh, missions. Especially if a camp is like right next to a main mission, it'll lower the level of that said mission once you capture the camp next to it. I was also talking about that ritual item, that that ritual jar that we just destroyed. We'll see exactly why we destroyed it, why it was important to destroy it later. Also, I was talking about the fact that we saw a Suma at this time period, even though I'm pretty certain that Sumas weren't supposed to be in the war. But the okay, seriously, why weren't you doing? Dude, thank you. Okay, seriously, that guy had some armor of steel right there. I'm pretty sure that was called an assault. Oh, what the hell? That assault captain. <laughs> we destroyed that assault ca assault captain, and suddenly the music changed. Kind of caught me off guard. Thankfully, this is one of my favorite tracks in the game, so I'm not complaining. But either way, let's head straight to this objective. It's not marked on the map. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah, it was marked. Uh, what exactly is here? It, was there nothing? Uh, okay. That was a little weird. I think he was faking death for a second. Yeah, probably. Alright, we have a mission right here. Defeating this guy will complete the rescue of the peasants. <laughs> yep, juggle, and then insta kill. God damn, Shao Yuan. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, that is awesome as well. I think that was one of uh, Xiao Yuan's EX moves in earlier games. Although I don't know why he has this special attack. Uh, I don't know why he has this special attack in this game. But it also gave us that weird laugh at the end of it, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> he sounds lazy. <laughs> Oh, trust me, you haven't heard Lazy yet. Damn it, I love this song. Especially when it gets to this guitar lift. Is fueling me with determination. That's why my, that's why my weapons are glowing red. What the hell? I've never seen that. Why are they glowing red? I'm kind of scared. Ah, uh, you don't do. You don't get to do that. You don't get to take me out of combo. Only I get to do that. 
Uh, I kind of thought I was going to kill him before I initiated the insta-kill. Ah, there you are, Sumaju. What the fuck is your deal? You know what? I don't even want to know because I never hear of you again, so fuck you. And suddenly the music changed again. Alright, we got to level 12. That means we have more poise to distribute. <laughs> We've not been forsaken after all. You're welcome. I was fighting in this battle. Of course we won. <laughs> Your efforts are a model for us all. He's certainly kept his arrogance from past games. I'll, I see that. The power of fire is in the weapon. Yep. Thankfully, I equipped those gems on like not only my launch trigger but also my stun trigger. So now I have two types of fire moves. Alright. Ooh, we have 15 points to distribute. Okay. Let's see, what can we distribute it to? I noticed that Shaho Yuan is also lacking in health, so for now, let's put in... Should we put these final three points in Toughness or Muso? I'm gonna go with Musou, because I want to see more of that Musou attack. Now that we saved this village, it's not open to us, so we can't shop here. Wait, I thought I was... Alright, so there's no shop here. That means I can't uh, get my best horse in this game. N not to worry, not to worry. I can always just... Instantly teleport to a to a city that I know has a stable at. So we're gonna head straight to there. Gonna take a little detour and equip my best horse. Wow, that was a really long load time. Yeah, this is almost Sonic 06 bad in terms of the loading screen time. Oh. Also, I found the coin collector. All right, so in the coin co the coin collector uh, basically uh, trades you coins that you find in the game, rare coins, um, small, you know, basically pick up coins or any type of coins for scrolls these scrolls are used to create either accessories or weapons so this is basically where you can get the best weapons in the game by trading in uh these types of coins i forgot what they're called actually just see i won't sound like a dipshit yep okay i definitely sound like a dipshit now those type of coins since I have like 184 coins of those types, that means I can get Shaho Yuan's best weapon in the game. At least I think it's the best weapon. Well, at least until an expansion, an Extreme Legends game comes out, this is probably going to be the best weapon for Shaho Yuan. So we're going to get three scrolls, three of the Demon Rods EX, which is the best weapon. I appreciate your business. And we're gonna head straight to the blacksmith to craft it. Hey, get on in here! And thankfully, we have enough materials to craft it. As you can see at the bottom of its of, of the weapon stats, our old weapon was 80 points in attack and 50 points in defense. <laughs> His best weapon is 384 attack and 240 defense. Oh my Jesus Christ! I'm so getting that. Again. I don't know if this is true, but if you can almost max out the defense, would it matter if you try to max out your health, or is it the other way around? Uh, defense is basically the damage that you take from an enemy, uh, and the health is your health bar, how many points of health you have. So in a sense, it's best to max out both of them. Uh, 
basically maxing out every stat is a keen thing to do. So, goodbye Chaos Rods, you served us well. Hello Demon Rod ZX, holy shit, look at those rods. Do they have little spikes on them? Oh, yeah they do. Oh shit, and they're red. That's a pretty impressive weapon. And now we're going to equip our gems that we had from our chaos rod. So I think these have the scourge gem. Yes, they do. The other one. All right, there you go. And the launch and stun had fire type gems. So I think it was solar. Solar with strength plus 11. And solar with strength plus 18. And knockdown had. I think it was thunder. No, wait, it was Lei Gong, right? Four plus seconds in Muso. Yes. With this, it will replenish our Muso meter every f uh, by 4% every time we attack an enemy. So that is pretty useful. And look at these bad boys. They're even shiny too. Holy shit, Eugene, how the fuck did you get here? Wow, you travel fast. I see why it's called the Demon Rod. <laughs> I know, right? I'm not even going to make a joke. I, I literally thought of a really bad joke and I'm not mm. even going to say it. <laughs> I wish there was a powerful sword here. I am more proud of this. Let's see, is there guns in this game? No, there isn't. I mean, there used to be a crossbow weapon, but they took it out due to... Wait, what am I doing? I came here literally to get my best horse. Alright, let me head back to the stable master and destroy anything in my way. Get off the box. You need a horse? Chestnut, there it is. Level 71, speed 205, impact 904, and stamina 441. I'll be here if you need me. Where's my baby at? Where's my baby? There you are, my precious little baby. Yeah. Look at how fast this fucking thing is. Holy crap. Alright, I'm definitely gonna travel faster with this. Uh, the only problem with uh, the horses in this game, and this is more so of not the game's fault, but more of the Xbox One's fault. Uh, because I'm broadcasting straight off of the Xbox One, and I fell into the river. Okay, get up. Get up. Horse. Seriously. Seriously. Chestnut. Try to get up. Jump. Okay. Sorry, Chestnut, but I'm going to abandon you. Later, baby. <laughs> uh, what was my point? Uh, uh, the Xbox One. Uh, this is more of a problem with the Xbox One than it is the game. Uh, when you broadcast... Oh, there you are, Chestnut. When you broadcast straight off the Xbox One uh, by using Twitch, uh, you have a sort of uh, Twitch overlay bar at the bottom of, the sc of your game screen. Basically showing you uh, the... Did I really just fall into another lake again? Uh, showing you uh, the stream information, how much time you have streamed, how many people are watching. Uh, in this game, and as you can probably see in the screen right now, there is a green bar at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that is the horse's stamina meter. And that basically indicates uh, you running your... You're running with the horse. So if you use the run button with the horse, the stamina lowers. And it replenishes when you're not using it. Uh, the problem is, because I'm streaming, that bar is covering the horse uh, stamina meter. So I can't see when the meter is low. Uh, so I'm basically boned when I'm trying to get to a certain location. I mean, it's not that much of a problem now that I realize it, because... Uh, the horse is so fast anyway, and there's also the fast travel option. It is probably not going to be much of a problem. It's sort of a nitpick that I have with uh, the Xbox One. Well, I guess Microsoft in general. 
and how they're dealing with uh, the Twitch overlay. And I've looked up online, it is a definite problem that most people have had that I seriously wish that they have fixed. Stop destroying people's stuff. No, I'm the destroyer of everything. Assassin's Creed jump. This game is kind of like Assassin's Creed, isn't it? Uh, that's, that's something that a lot of people, whoa. What the fuck, it just changed music, oh yeah. Because this is the music I have for my uh, hideouts. Alright, so another feature they added in Dynasty Wars 9 is hideouts. Where basically you can have this sort of miniature house that you can buy off for sale. And you can basically customize what it looks like inside. Along with customizable music, which I have playing right now. I have like the metal as fuck theme playing in the background. I don't fucking care because it's awesome. And I also customize it to look like this. I like how it looks. But in this hideout, uh, you can do a lot of stuff. You can basically change your horse, uh, change your costume, advance time. Advancing time doesn't really do much, it just changes the time outside, but I've never really found a reason for doing that. Uh, you can look at gallery, encyclopedia, you can basically do a lot of stuff. You can even craft stuff in your own house. Probably have no gifts. But the main thing you can do is invite other famous officers to your hideouts to raise their affinity with you. Uh, it's a feature that was kept in the Warriors Orochi series, another Koei Tecmo game series that basically implements Dynasty Warrior characters. Uh, what exactly the affinity system in this game does, I don't know. But you get some pretty neat gifts. Uh, you get to see some characters interacting with each other, and it doesn't really mean much because their basically dialogue is basically amounts to, hey, how's it going? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> but I might as well show it off. So I can invite a couple officers here that are alive at this point. I can even invite the guy who we're literally fighting in the war against. Okay, I'm going to invite Zhou Cheng just to see how funny it is. So, once you send a letter to an officer, you're gonna have to wait for a little while for them to show up, and here he comes! Well, that was definitely fast. As you see, he's in a sort of formal attire, which I should probably do the same. So, let me change my costume right real quick. Informal clothing, Shaho Yuan. Oh shit, he looks pretty nice. Pretty dapper, I'll admit. I also love the blue color scheme as well. And he looks so weird without his helmet. Oh, well, I'll have you know. <laughs> that was fast. I know, right? Too fast. He's an assassin. Right you are. <laughs> yes, you are an assassin. I knew it. Ah, uh, you're back. I was running nearby and wanted to see your something. <laughs> wanted to see your something. Uh, it takes a couple times to talk to them. Uh, to, well, I, I, I honestly don't know. I think I was always running around. I'm very good at sitting still, too. I guess that's nothing to boast about. <laughs> what the hell was with that line reading? So many pauses. It's like this when I'm talking. Just throughout the whole day. So what was I saying? You have to talk to them a couple times uh, to initiate them giving you a gift. If you think I was always and that's if they hand you a gift. It's not always that they hand you a gift. It's usually once you raise their affinity to a high amount. So if we look back at his affinity meter, it is now 34%. So we just need to keep interacting with these characters, Zhou Chang. Until we can raise it to 100. Once that happens, I honestly don't know because I haven't done that yet. It's just a little feature that I do every now and then when I enter my hideouts. But hey, that's it's a pretty cool little thing. It's a nice time waster. I don't know exactly what the benefits are, but having a hideout's pretty sweet. You can craft whatever you want. You can cook food, which raises your stats for a certain amount of time. 
basically a buff. Uh, overall, it's not a bad feature. I must say, I like your house. I'll oh, thank you. It took me a while to customize it. So, we're done with our hideout for now. Instead, we shall head straight to the main battles once again. So, the closest and the next and closest battle is defeat Zhang Ma Cheng, which is where our allies of Wu Sun Jian and his posse are dealing with. We're going to instead of traversing all the way to that path, we're, we are going to instantly teleport to a close proximity. I want you to ride the horse there. Alright, alright. Well, I'm somewhat close, so I can just ride it from here. This market is our destination. There it is. But, as I see right here, there's a couple of... Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Anyway, it's nice, it's nice for once in a while to stop what you're doing and pick up some materials that you find along the way. Because they can eventually be used in crafting weapons and crafting other things as well. Oh my god, it's so hard to figure out if my horse is on stamina or not. I guess just slowly pressing the button every now and then is a good method, so I guess I'll just do that. I wonder how the army's been All keeping right. up. I need They're nothing without me. This area. You fools can't stop us. Observe the perfect formation of Lord Chen Zhao. You dare attack us head on? The height of foolishness, as you'll now see. Oh, already. I, I, I was waiting for them to finish their dialogue. Uh, we basically already found that weakness. We're using, uh, whatever those things are. Uh, well, for now, we're using a these items. Yeah, I'm not really good with these words. Uh, I'm not good with words. Uh, I'm not really familiar with these terms of weapons that they use. Uh, but basically, we're breaking down the doors of the castle. Which is kind of useless at this point because we now have a way to climb up to the castle by using this ladder system. Sorry dude, but your defenses are shit. If we can just do this. Dude, we're already inside. We can't get any more closer than this. Damn it, I love that move. Did, did I miss that? Wait. I think I missed that uh, insta-kill. Landed on the ground and initiated a ground insta-kill. That was a little weird. But anyway, that arrow attack is great for activating those... Ins those uh, for lowering health. It really is. It's probably one of Shaho Yuan's best moves. Even though I haven't really been using his special attack all too much. Which is weird because those special attacks, those special, those special trigger attacks, uh, grant invincibility frames. Which you want to abuse in chaos mode, but... Then again, I'm kind of over... I'm kind of over-prepared at this point. That chaos mode is kind of easy. I mean, I probably won't say that once we get to later levels. Like, once we get to Lu Bu, that's, I, I'm going to be telling a completely different story there. It's so funny I'm laughing hard. Eh, I try, I try. You know what, you're not even worth my time. I'm going to try out an Aerial Musou. Just see what this looks like. Holy shit, a barrage of arrows. That was pretty sick. <laughs> yes, I am impressive. I gotta admit, I'm having a lot of fun playing as Shao Yuan. I mean, I thought his moveset would be sort of shit. Considering he doesn't have his bow, but I was completely wrong. 
sorry. Didn't mean to say that out loud. We've broken through the enemy formation thanks to our. I'm not gonna let you live. No witnesses. Of course we won. Your skill. You're definitely special. Alright, and that was a pretty quick mission. Helping our fellow brethren from Wu. So now that we've done that, let's see. We have another mission in Zhuang Castle. Preparing for battle. Oh wait, that's a tutorial mission. Yeah, I, 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 there's no point in doing that. But we do have defeat Zhang Liang, which I know is uh, important. And there's also Zhang Miao, Guo Hua, or Guan Huai. I was about to say Guo Huai. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Why are you here? Uh, oh yeah, we also have to deal with that uh, ritual tool in Yi. I forgot about. I completely forgot about that. And then there's also rescuing Dong Zhuo. We can wait about. We can wait for that one. <laughs> So for now, we're going to head straight to Yi and deal with those ritual tools. And that was a quick teleportation. All right. Oh, we have a couple of base captains and spear captains in our way, but to be honest, I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> I just don't want to. It's not that I'm... Uh, scared I'll die, it's just that I just want to beat the mission. I'm thinking because they didn't add this his bow because he uses his bow for special attacks. Well, yeah, he uses his bow. Uh, I'm not saying that he doesn't completely have it. Uh, but the thing is, in Dynasty Warriors 9, it's a little weird. Uh, well, I should probably explain. In Dynasty Warriors 8, every character had their own exclusive weapons. Like, no weapon was exactly the same, and each weapon had its different types of moveset. In Dynasty Wars 9, uh, characters ended up... They go in, they went back to... Uh, let me start over. The developers ended up going back to the mentality of each character uh, sharing, similar wep sharing weapons with others. So, basically, Shaho Yuan here uses the rod weapons. Which is also used by Taishutsu, I believe. Another character who we will see later. And I believe it's also used by Yue Jin. Not to be confused with Yu Jin. So, in a sense, most of the characters end up using clone weapons. But that's not to say they don't have their own exclusive moves and special attacks. No, they have their own exclusive moves. Which is why Shao Yuan's special trigger attack is using his bow even though he uses a clone weapon uh, mo pretty much every character in this game has a clone weapon it's a little bizarre how they went back to that mentality and what we we actually found the place and I could see from that puff of smoke you spoke too much too late I'm interested I want to touch it Touch. Touch. I'm touching. I'm touching and you can't stop me. You can't stop. Oh. You tried to stop me. Okay, I'm not letting you leave. Definitely not. Yeah. That's what you get for touching me. <laughs> Eugene Krabs. <laughs> You're not the first to make that joke. My altar must have been destroyed. Destroyed. I have always thought that uh, when I first got the game, I literally I thought there. that um, Zhang Xiao's voice actor was the same song. guy who voiced Ernie from Sesame Street. <laughs> he sounds so much like Ernie. Like especially when we go to fight him, you, you'll definitely see Scar, and you'll definitely see the comparison in their voices. Oh, that's the moon man I said about. <laughs> yep, yep. That's the guy we're going to fight. The leader of this rebellion that we're dealing with. The leader of the yellow turbans. 
Oh, these guys have orange in their health bars. Which means they're they're not really associated with the yellow turbans. They're mostly just random vagabond officers that are scattered around here. Oh! I've been following the main mission. I, I should be following the side mission that we're going to. It's... Oops, I've done that a couple times as well in my past playthroughs. Everyone is so busy. They Rescue Dong Zhuo. Do we really have to? We do? Okay. That reminds me, where is that fat pig? Oh, there he is. Is that Dong Zhuo or Filthy Freak? Oh shit, what the fuck are this? What the fuck is this? Oh yes, this battle. Uh, I completely forgot that we're facing magicians. We're, we're basically facing magicians. So Zhang Bao here will basically uh, summon AoE choreographed ground attacks of fire. And he won't stop until we kill him, so we basically gotta find Zhang Bao and finish him off quickly. So where the fuck is he? Ah, there he is. Lock onto him. No, not him. No, lock on. Okay, there we go. Wait, no. Lock onto Zhang Bao. Nope. Okay, fuck this. Uso. You don't want a piece of me? I'm giving you everything I got. <laughs> Haha! Seriously, he sounds like a fucking speed racer character. And that was basic case. My time is up. Maybe continue to smile with kindness upon my brother. Your efforts are a model for us all. Yeah, way too easy. I was fighting in this battle. Of course we won! Maybe buying the Demon rods at this point wasn't such the best idea. Ah, screw it. I don't care. This is chaos mode we're talking about. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a tough time once I face Zhang Zhao. Fire ground attack. What the fuck was I trying to say? That like an AoE ground something fire attack. Uh, I hate it when I mix up my words. Damn, he a fat king. Oh ho ho ho. Oh, yes he is. He's also a complete bastard. But we'll get more into that once we pr once we once we get into the next chapter. Okay, so we're pretty close to Guangzhou, which is where Zhang Zhao is located at. Uh, if we look at the mission menu. Holy shit. By doing all those missions, we've lowered uh, suppressing the yellow turbans uh, to level 10. It was level 23 when we first started the chapter. And I'm level 15 at this point. So I'm kind of tempted to just head straight to Guangzhou and just ignore the rest of these missions. I mean, Cao Cao and Shaho Dune are already at this mission right here. I mean, I could go and help them. I, uh, fuck it. I want this to be exciting. So we're heading straight to the town. But first, we're going to stop by a little watchtower that I just noticed at the, at the corner of my eye. So, And Scar, you'll probably find this a little bit of funny as well. Go help them first. Go help who? South South? Nah, I'm pretty much sure I got this. Alright. So, Scar, you thought that that leap of faith was Assassin's Creed material? Well, this is definitely Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that whole camera angle is something from one of the Assassin's Creed games. And again, I haven't played much Assassin's Creed myself. I've only played a little bit of the first game, so my knowledge is a little bit shot. Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of contemplating 
before we head straight to the main mission, I want to deal with this mission right here, defeat Guan Huai. Since it's pretty much so close to uh, our main one. And also, while we're going there, I'm going to stop by the bonfire that's uh, north of that village. Why? Well, I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you exactly why later on. So we're going to... No, no, no. Music, stop. Don't activate the chapter music. No, no, no. There we go. I want to save that for when we actually fight Zhang defense. They will remember you as one, so help me. No. The days of the Fuck him. Now is the hour of the yellow turbans. Observe, infidels, the miracles wrought by the heavens. <sighs> that fucking voice. We can't fight this strange power. Someone, anyone, take out Zhang Xiao. Uh, in a minute, in a minute, I'm dealing with this little crisis at the moment. Yeah, we're getting seriously close to it. Alright. Defeat Guanghui. Complete this mission will allow your allies to advance to the front lines. Okay, so once we complete this, Cao Cao will probably make it to uh, the capital where we're heading to. So there you go, Scar. It's a win win situation. Even though we're not dealing with the immediate threat that was around us at that point. Ah, screw it. I like to live on the edge. Oh! I just got the True Warrior of the Three Kingdoms quote. That means I got a thousand kills, didn't I? Yes, I did! Huh. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, usually in Dynasty Warriors uh, tradition, whenever you get a thousand kills, uh, your allies usually comment on how you're the true warrior of the three kingdoms. Like, oh my god, it's such a big deal. I mean, it kind of is, because he just killed a thousand people. So I like how they kept that in this game. Even though, you know, the whole thousand kills thing is a little, little bit weird. Because it spans throughout the entire chapter instead of just one battle. But that was the end of the mission. I think we just... Killed the commander. Yeah. We have to abandon this place. Lord Zheng Xiao. That name sounds like Mortal Kombat. Uh, which one? I think I was talking about Cao Cao at one point. Thank you for coming to our yeah, Cao Cao does sound like it. I was fighting in this battle. Of course we won. <laughs> you are unstoppable. Oh shit! In doing that mission, we lowered, we lowered the chapter mission to even, we we lowered the chapter mission to level seven. Like, oh my god, as if it wasn't gonna be even easier than uh, before. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, I literally saw this lady in blue, and I was like, wait, what the hell was that? I just caught at the side of my eye. It was. It was a little bizarre. Alright, so now we're heading north to this bonfire. Why we're heading to this random bonfire in the middle of the woods? Well, as I get to it right now, here we can rest. Uh, bonfires have two options. We can advance time, which is kind of useless, and we can cook. Now, with cooking in this game, uh, cooking in this game is sort of not needed but I like to do it whenever I'm facing a hard battle so uh, food in this game raises uh, certain stats for a limited amount of time so with steamed fish per se uh, toughness it will increase your toughness for a long period of time and with meat broth it will increase your attack for a long period of time so these are basically helpful buffs that you can get throughout the game uh, I believe one, I believe the steamed, the meat broth, if I remember correctly, lasts for 20 minutes. And I don't think I've ever tried the roast fish. Uh, increase your toughness. So I have a couple options here. I can increase attack or I can increase toughness. I can also increase speed and jump ability and EXP. Well, since this game is kind of easy to earn EXP points, I won't bother with the roasted vegetables. 
but I will bother with attack power. So attack it is. Oh, you're going to win, no doubt. Of course I am. All right. Ah, so I was wrong. It wasn't 20 minutes. It was it was 30 minutes. So yeah, it lasts for 30 minutes, as you can see from the bottom of the screen, that little timer. Hmm. Now I'm contemplating. Should I fight Zhang Zhao in a different time? Let's see. I can fight him at night. <laughs> at night just for atmospheric effect I think effect I think I'm going to do that yeah it'll look pretty awesome once we head straight to the capital at night <laughs> and thankfully we had we did complete some of the missions that involved the Wu characters so soon Jian and his group is gonna be there for that battle I don't know about Cao Cao or Liu Bei's group, but honestly, I could care less. I could really just care less about Liu Bei. So now that we're here, let's head straight into the capital. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! All right, we're advancing. All right, so in this important battle, if you see on the right side of the screen, we have a sort of morale bar, which is that big red and blue bar on the right side. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, and there's also this whole thing about this, this specific battle. Zhang Zhao will end up using magic on certain areas of this capital. So from the northern, eastern, western, and southern side of this city, he will use different types of magic. Since we entered from the eastern side, he will be using thunder magic in this area. What this magic basically does is sort of a detriment to you. All you really need to do is just dodge the, a the very specific AoE circles on the ground. But I must warn you, they do a lot of damage, so try to be careful. Especially when you're facing the Earth Elemental attacks. Which is, I believe, in the southern side of the city. Don't forget to use your special attacks. Oh, I will, I will. But for now, we're, base we're facing Brigand Leaders, so they're not much of a big deal. Oh, wait. Ooh. That was so close. I almost got... I almost jumped straight into that thunder attack. Okay, so what was I saying about morale? Oh yes, the morale meter on the right side of the screen. So at the beginning of the battle, it will... So the morale meter will be indicated by... What you have done throughout the chapter. So doing certain missions, getting your allies here in a specific way, and how many allies you'll have here with you. Uh, the morale meter will change depending on all of that. So if you got all of your allies here and did every single mission, the blue part of that meter, which is basically your side, will increase more so than it already is. Uh, so at this point, the enemies have very high morale, which, knowing my Dynasty Warriors logic, means that they have a higher attack power higher defense, and are more vicious in terms of their AI attacks. Uh, you can mitigate this by killing officers and basically any random lead brigand leaders or captain leaders in the battle. So by defeating this officer, as you see, it raised our side it raised the blue meter on the morale meter, so... Basically, what you want to do is fight as many named uh, enemies as much as you can, and ki well, basically kill as many named enemies as you can. The more morale you have, the easier these battles will get. Man, that was a big mouthful of information that I just spewed out. 
Oh, the lightning stopped. Ah, uh, yes, I think they were talking about uh, me defeating the officer caused the lightning magic to subside. So, at this point, you basically realize that defeating the officers in every direction of this map of this of this town will stop the magic in that certain area. So, we've cleared. We cleared the eastern side. So now we're heading to the southern side to deal with the officers, the main officers that are on that side. And holy shit, my health just went down like crazy. Okay, yeah, running straight into that army of captains probably wasn't the best idea. Then leave them if it's not safe. Nah. Part of war is. War is never safe. So. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm basically saying is fuck safety. I'm all about the danger. Fuck you, brigand leader. Oh, did I just see lightning in the air? That was pretty cool. Your health is low. I know, right? I was scared at that moment. Ah, alright, here it is. Now he's using earth magic in the southern side of this town, which I am at at the moment. Although I don't see any earth or rocks around here. Did he actually use some? Because I don't see it. Ah, fuck it. Oh shit, shit, shit. Don't you dare touch me like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to beat this axe captain before I move on. Alright. Now let's head to the officer that's stationed in the south. Which is, I believe, around here somewhere. So but now let's deal with these random captains. Boy, rocks in around you on the ground just look down. <laughs> they are? I didn't see them. I'm kind of paying attention more to my surrounding officers. I'm kind of paying more attention to the officers around me than the ground, so eh. But now that you mentioned, I do kind of see something. Are rocks even hitting me? Eh, I don't even know anymore. You motherfucker dodged my special attack! Alright. Oh, okay. Dodging my special attack was one thing, but blocking my normal attacks... Oh, you're going down. Oh, there was the rock magic. Sure took a sweet ass time. Not even worth an instant kill. Oh. Okay, I was wrong. There is magic. And apparently, that wasn't the officer that I needed to kill to stop the rock magic. So. I think it's that guy. Zhang Nui Zhao? Can't really see the name all too well. But anyway, you're already dead, so. Wait, he wasn't the officer either? Oh, never mind, he was. I can have barrels of fun with that type of voice. Alright, so defeating a lot of captains caused our morale to increase a lot more than it already was, so that's... that's pretty good. That means we'll have an easier time dealing with Zhang Zhao once we make it to the middle of the cat of the of the town. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. All right, I'm just gonna ignore you guys for now. Ice. Okay. So ice on the western side. I think I found. No, you're not the officer. That's the officer. 
Yuan Shao? Yuan Shao? Oh, uh, hey Yuan Shao. I was about to say, like, what the fuck? Why is Yuan Shao here? I guess there are two Yuan Shaos now that I think about it. But anyway, that was. That was fast. Now, what the fuck was that? Did, did you hear that? The way he said now? It sounded like a fucking cat. Alright, now we're on the north side. Wind, eh? Alright, now where is the officer in charge of the north side? Oh shit, there's the wind, and that is pretty damn apparent. Seriously, where is the officer? Is he even here? Oh shit, we have to fight Zhou Cheng. Zhou Sheng, Zhou Cheng, I, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, we have to fight him. Hey there. there he is. Ready to hey, how's it going, buddy? So how was your day? You remember our time together in my hideout? We had tea. Chatted about how fast you were. So how have you been? Not good, I see. Alright. I gotta admit, it was a little weird when I invited him. I, I don't know why they gave you the option to invite Shou Cheng to your hideout at this point in time. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna kill him no matter what. Alright, and I, thanks to me juggling him, I was able to take him out no problem. <laughs> Shut up, Moon Man, and take my Moon Pie. You're <laughs> not when you're hungry. <laughs> Damn it, his head looks like a moon. I never realized that until now. I mean, his hair has always been a thing for debate. <laughs> Why debate? <laughs> I meant, uh, it's always been weird. Like in Dynasty Wars 8, it was literally just a star. Like his hair was nothing but a star. In Dynasty Wars 7, he had locks, I believe. It was weird, because he had locks in the back of his hair. But he also had a huge bald spot in, on the top. It was bizarre. But either way, this guy is a weirdo, and we need to take him out, because he's weird. And he freaks us all out. Let's talk about religion, and the yellow turbans, and the heavens. Oh, and don't forget the magic. That's right. Okay, now that we've dealt with each side of the town, it's time to head to the middle portion. And there it is. The capital where Zhang Zhao is held up. Once we make it there, we'll deal with him for good. Yeah, you guys keep telling yourself that. You bet I know exactly how history plays out. <laughs> Are you ready? Of course I am. I'm more than ready. Yeah, I think I, I, even my morale is high enough to just deal with Zhang Zhao, so I'm just gonna ignore all of you around me. Out of my way. Oh shit, there are a lot of people here though. There he is. Zhang Zhao used the ritual tools to increase his power. Ritual tools, eh? Capturing the enemy's bases. Hmm, they look familiar, don't they? Oh, what happens if I do this? Touch. 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 Ah, nice. No matter. We have works the same as the same. It works exactly the same as the ritual tools back in Yi. Alright, there he says it. So by destroying the rituals from those other towns, we were able to weaken Zhang Zhao here. So if we didn't, I believe he would have been a little bit more stronger. I mean, nothing that we probably couldn't have handled, but better than... 
Oh, he sounds so fucking sad. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you're not gonna get me that easy. <laughs> oh man. You make me laugh, Bernie man. You make me laugh. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to kill ya. It was nice knowing ya, even though I didn't really know ya. Whatever, just die already. He came out of nowhere. Well, the, we are basically invading his inner sanctum. Oh, I have him in a jungle. And boom! That's it for Zhang Zhao. Oh. He sounded so defeated. Justice prevails. Oh, I wanted to head straight to the throne. I wanted to sit on it. Oh, oh well. Oh, you're the one that slew Zhang Zhao. I know the emperor will be pleased with your service. It seems like a waste to have a capable hero such as yourself coiling away as a local official. Oh, dude, what's wrong with your face? I would like to summon you to Luoyang. And introduce What's you wrong to with your face? What do you say? I appreciate your kind offer. However, even without Zhong Xiao, the yellow turbans continue to sow chaos throughout the land. I feel my presence is still needed here for the time being. <clears throat> you mean my presence, Sao Tsao? You Shut up, Shao Yuan. To be dealing with such a trivial matter. Leave it to the volunteer corps. Master Dong Zhuo also speaks quite highly of you. So forget about that nonsense. Is and that I a compliment? He makes it sound so easy to put down this rebellion. Does he have any idea what it really entails? Oh, this is giving me such a migraine. <laughs> way, it'll be like letting the land be overrun by a plague of locusts. Hmm. Tso you're not actually going to listen to him, are you? All right. This could be a good opportunity for us to deal with the causes behind this rebellion. Of course, we cannot ignore the strife throughout the land. However, there are others that can deal with it. This may be just the chance that we've been looking for. I see. So he's going to settle this eternally the within the Han Empire. Yes, exactly. Cao Cao, you should proceed as you see fit. Whatever you decide, we will be there to watch your back. Ah, huh. oh, he's a good cousin. I know I can always count on you both to be there for me. What a modly little crew we have here. And thankfully we did it! We defeated the Yellow Turbans. Do you want to save your current progress? Yes, we do. And that concludes the end of Chapter 1 for Shaho Yuan. Now on to Chapter 2. Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, Zhang Zhao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The oh no. rebellion is ended. But the longed for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others Ah, the eunuchs. The Wait, what? Mass, killing the eunuchs. Oh, we didn't even get to deal with the eunuchs. Confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilian Eh, his forces to I guess that will always be relegated to Dynasty Wars 8. Eh. Points himself prime minister and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The Lord soon began to feel themselves in danger. 
Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember, chapter 2 is dealing with Dong Zhuo. The big man that you were so hardly talking about earlier, weren't you, Scar? Well, we actually get to see him uh, in all of his glory. Although I kind of don't want to. Well, hey, he seemed like a decent individual at the time. Dong Zhuo has used the confusion to seize control of the Emperor. All our efforts in getting rid of the ten eunuchs have been wasted. <laughs> Any within the palace who dared stand up to his tyranny have been executed. The rest are all too fearful to do anything about it. Okay, I'll admit, I do like uh, Yuan this Shao's voice lamentable. in we this game. We must him with all haste and rescue the Emperor! I mean, it's not as great as his uh, Dynasty Wars admirable. 4 voice, you, but <laughs> so, when are you planning it to definitely fits make his uh, personality Everybody in this game. Knows you are the leader behind the anti-Dong Zhuo movement. If you do not participate, we will likely miss out on our best opportunity. Well, it's not as easy as you make it sound. Dong Zhuo is protected by the mighty Lu Bu. We have to find some way of getting past him first. He doesn't seem to have much of an aptitude for subtlety. I could hear him all the way down the road. Cao Cao, we received a message from Dong Zhuo. It seems he wishes to meet you. Bet when you go to course, his home, you find him I'm eating sure 500 different types of food. Five different types of food and 500 different types of women. It makes sense that he wants to keep uh, it Our Lord is old friends with Yuan Shao. Poor Diao Chao. We all know how outspoken he can be. If Yuan Shao decides to sit back and watch, we'll lose the chance to make our move. We need to find a way to force his hand. As such, I feel now is the time for us to seize the opportunity that lies before us. Huh. Finally, we're making our move. In that case, let us in on what you've got planned. There are two ways to get rid of Dong Zhuo. We can raise an even larger army to crush him, or we can use more subtle methods to bring him down from within. It would be rather difficult to raise the army necessary to defeat him. Therefore, that leaves us with the other option. Assassination. How do you propose we take him out from within? Don't tell me you. We sneak into Luoyang Castle and assassinate him. Yuan Shao is incapable of such a task, and we have no other choice. <laughs> Definitely with that loud voice. I must do it myself. Oh no, Sasha. I know you always like to handle things yourself, but this isn't the time or place for that. Let me handle this. I'll be the one to take out Dong Zhuo. Very well. I know I can count on you. Oh, well, that was pretty mission. quick to persuade him. I'll show you the way to Luoyang Castle. According to Yuan Chao, Dong Zhuo is accompanied by the mighty warrior Lu Bu. Be sure to stay out of his way. Ah, uh, Lu Bu. We'll deal with him later. It's like hell, I'm actually gonna fight him when I make it there. Dong palace. He is well known throughout the land for his bravery. We must approach with caution. Wait, where am I going? Oh, here it is. Okay. So, this is chapter two. Confusion at the capital. Alright, so we have... Zhang Zhe... Wait, what? Zhang Liao. Oh, I, I mistook that as Zhang Xiao. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the fuck? I thought we killed you. And there's Hua Zhong and Diao Chan, the lovely Diao Chan. Okay, so in chapter two, we pretty much have our main mission straight up right here. Like, it, as soon as we enter this part of the capital, 
it starts out the assassination against Dong Zhuo. But for now, we have a bunch of smaller side quests to deal with on the sides here that will help us deal with uh, the assassination of the Tyrant, which is level 22. We're at a point where we're level 19. Oh, and I think about it, we probably can deal with it, but... Hmm. You know what, I think I'll just do one mission, one side quest mission, and then uh, handle the main assassination attempt. So, we have a couple here. We have Discovering a Hideaway. Retired Assassin. Invitation to a Scenic Spot. Hunting Lessons. I'm not going to do the hunting, hunting Lessons, that's basically a tutorial. Well, what is that? I, I can't see what that one is. Something Town? I'm pretty sure that's something about the shops. Fishing Lessons, yeah. That, these three right here are basically tutorials. So the important ones are three right here. Actually, two right here. I mean, discovering a hideaway. We already have a hideaway right here. So that would be too easy to do. So instead, I'm going to try the Retired Assassin mission. Out of the way. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure... Invitation to a scenic spot. That's... A mission that allows us to travel... To a very interesting spot, if I remember correctly. So let's head straight to that mission instead. If we have enough time, we'll probably do the Retired Assassin mission. Uh, uh, wait. Dang it, this place is so confusing. It's almost like it's a town or something. <laughs> Zhong Yu Temple is indeed a gorgeous scenic area, the rumor says. The view alone... Oh, Zhong Yu Temple isn't that far from here. Shall we pay a visit? Obtain information about the scenic area. Alright, we have our mission. Just travel to that area over there. A scenic spot. And thankfully, so I won't waste time, I have a way marker so I can just travel straight up there. Why do you have to- why you have to fish? Oh yeah, there's a fishing mechanic in this game. I might actually show it off once I get back in- once I get back to Loyong. Because there is a lake next to it, and there doesn't seem to be one here. Oh, I got stuck between four walls. I know, right? The horse in isn't exactly the best at maneuvering around places. And here it is, the temple. Oh. Nice. The fodder. How the hell did you get here before I did? I'm not even going to try to say those words. Be safe out there. <laughs> As you mention it, Mount Song is just north of here. The view there is even more magnificent. Oh, now we need to travel to Mount Song, which is all the way up there. Hmm. Eh, might as well travel there the long way. Yeah, where is Mount Song? Oh yeah, that is Mount Song. And we have to travel all the way up there. Uh, I actually do want to show this off as somewhat tedious as it is. So. Let's head to the waypoint, which is literally right here. Here we are. Head for the summit of Mount Song. Okay. Yeah, our mission is basically to climb this entire higher mountain side. And how we do that is implementing another new feature in Dynasty Warriors 9, the grappling hook. Or as I like to call it, the game breaker. Because this little feature here is what breaks every sort of uh, normal playthrough in any, di in any story mode of this game. Which is kind of why I never use the grappling hook for taking bases, taking castles, or 
skipping uh, main missions because grappling hook, and it's an optional thing. So I only use it when I am when I have absolutely no other options to, which sometimes happens in this game, or when I'm climbing a watchtower because it's that comedic. Also, I just phased into the air at one point there. Yeah, now talk about stuff about the game. Oh, well, yeah, since it's a pretty boring spot right here. Uh, I guess I could just talk about the reception of this game and how I feel about it. Uh, the, controversy, the controversy as a whole. Uh, a lot of people didn't enjoy how... A, Oh, well, we made it to the top anyway, so I can save that type of conversation for later. Because heaven knows when I get to more presidenting stuff, I'll definitely need something to talk about. But anyway. I must say, before I, uh, before I move on, that the game's graphics are definitely, uh, pretty stellar for a Dynasty Wars game. I mean, yes, they do look a little plain, and they might seem like something from a from an old from a uh, from a past gen. But in my opinion, from playing Dynasty Warriors games or just Warriors games in general, this is actually pretty damn beautiful to look at. The scenic uh, the, the scenic routes are just. Uh, what am I saying? The scenic uh, stuff look like this, like climbing a tower, like climbing a mountain, and just looking past the vastness of the land Capturing is the definitely uh, is the a sight to, to see. I mean, heck, you can even see the snowy mountains from the north all the way over there. It is definitely a great thing, which is why I'm going to jump off right now. Whee! <laughs> uh, realism be damned. Yeah, when they said they wanted to make Dynasty Warriors 9 the most realistic game in the series, that was a fucking goddamn lie. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> so anyway, now that we completed that mission... Oh! Sai Wenji. Okay, I forgot about this little thing. Alright, so never mind, we're not heading straight to Luoyang to do the Dong Zhuo mission. We're heading to a little detour, which is actually on the way to Dong Zhuo. So, let's see, we're going to meet a new character, or not a new character, an old character. And in my opinion, one of my favorite uh, way characters, both moveset and character, uh, both moveset and personality. I've been surrounded by bandits. If only I had heeded my father's warning. Sai Wenji. Who I believe in history was a very famous poet who even South Sao had adored. We'll see more about her and her story, or at least as much as possible, because they don't really have character development in this game. I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about that once we get to other character stories that aren't exactly important. But for now, we have to rescue Sai Wenji from these bandits, which we just did. Thank you for helping me. You fight with such beauty and grace. Just see you out there <laughs> has inspired a new melody within me. I shall play it for you when we return to Luoyang. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sai Wenji. I can't wait to hear that melody. Hey, that's not the type of melody I want to listen to. Alrighty. Why she was out here in the middle of nowhere, I actually don't remember. I think we were actually supposed to um, speak with someone in town, and they were supposed to tell us that Sai Wenji was out here or something. I mean, all, in all honesty, she, finding her on the map was actually quite random. Wait, where the hell am I going? You know what? 
I think I'm just gonna uh, teleport straight to a close by place. It sounds like she's enjoying being surrounded by men. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Wenji's one of the pure girls in this game. I mean, if you were to if you were to say something like that about Genji, then I wouldn't mind. Oh yeah, there she is, right there. Thank you, fast travel, because she used it as well. Uh, you gonna do anything, Sai? No. All right. But you're welcome for saving you. Something. All right. Uh. So we did that mission. We did uh, the one mission that we had wanted to. So, I think it's safe to say that we're ready to face Dong Zhuo. So, before we do, I want to check my equipment real quick. And holy fuck! I have 999 in attack power. I didn't realize that. Well, if that's the case, then I... Let's see. Ah, yes. It's because I have the... Quality Tiger Fang equipped. Alright, so I guess I should keep that on for now until I gain more points in strength. Probably should right now. Alright, just to build that up so I won't have to have that wasted accessory slot. Suspicious characters right. lurking about? Don't let your guard down for an instant. Of course, I will let the others on watch know. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, wait! I just realized I'm heading into the mission territory. Uh, I was gonna head to the shops for some equipment. Wait, I didn't mean to do that! Okay. I didn't mean to use the grappling hook there, but whatever. I guess I can traverse through the rooftops. I guess you could say we're doing a rooftop the run. I heard when I was rescued. I should play it before I forget it. Daiwenji is starting a performance. What moving music? I want to listen to it more closely. What lovely music? Where is it coming from? Let's go and find out. Dong Zhuo's forces have begun to move after hearing the performance. Ah, I see. So, by saving Saiwenji, we were able to cause a distraction. Which will make things more easier to sneak into the capital. Also, I just realized where the fuck is everyone? Like, the shops are gone. They've disappeared. Every single one of them. Uh, I guess that's because I ended up starting the mission too early by walking into the territory. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. We're okay with supplies, so I think it's time to start the assassination attempt. So. Let's head straight into the capital. I, mean, I think there's an entrance somewhere around here. Yes, there it is. All right. Is there any way I could enter? No? Okay, so I guess this is the one time where I'm forced to use the grappling hook. And then I can just do this. <laughs> Open wide. There we go. So now I have a perfect way to get through the capital. And it seems like the private officers... I didn't even realize there were officers over there. Okay, I should probably be quick about this. Yeah, this is actually a... Um, This is actually a sneak attempt. This is actually a sneaky mission, so I gotta be careful not to get spotted. I cannot let you pass, no matter how and as soon as I say that, I got spotted. Alright, I guess I'll just have to defeat Zhang Liao. Come and face me. Boy, that was a terrible attempt. And he's kicking my ass, sorry. 
thing? Did you seriously just dodge my special? Alright, you're so not gonna deal with that. Uh, I was going to use a Musa attack, but then I realized, wait, he's almost dead, so that would have been a waste. The gatekeeper. Oh, actually, this will be the perfect time to use my arrows. Yeah. Or not, because he technically spot me. Oh, headshot. <laughs> Man, I love how arrows work in this game. You jinxed yourself, I know, right? Uh, I had a much easier time going through this with Cao Cao than Xiao Yuan, but then again, just look at Xiao Yuan. He, he's not the type to really be sneaking around, is he? Oh, whatever. We made it to Dong Zhua, who is literally inside here, so let's, let's take care of him. I, I meant his weapons aren't air, his main weapons aren't air. Get in here. Huh? I recognize you. You're one of Cao Cao's men. So, Cao Cao, you wish to make an enemy of me, do you? Lu Bu, cut this imbecile to shreds. Huh. What a pathetic charade. I will end this foolishness now. Oh no, it's ah, Lu Bu. Looks like Lu Bu is here. He seems every bit as fierce as his reputation. I don't like my chances in this one. Forgive me, my lord. I'm gonna have to run and live to fight another day. Don't believe this. See you, suckers. I kind of like the cutscene with, uh, I kind of like this cutscene with Cao Cao more than, uh, Xiao Yuan, because, like, seriously, Cao Cao actually planned an escape. Xiao Yuan was like, eh, fuck you, goodbye. But yeah, this is basically, uh, we failed our assassinations attempt. Now we're running for our lives away from Lu Bu. The enemy is no. going to attack us here. Get away from Everyone me. prepare to defend this spot. And now every soldier in the town is here. Let's get out of here. We have to run. We can't let Lubu get me. And that's it. <laughs> well, that was a fast escape. It seems that Dong Zhuo constantly. Face him? How about fuck you? Because I. <laughs> he must place great trust in him. Either that. Or he simply mistrusts everybody else. As long as Lu Bu is with him, it's going to be rather difficult to assassinate Dong Zhuo. You don't know. You don't know you the might of Lu Bu, Scar. You Dong really Zhuo. don't. Although, we should worry more about the fact that he's currently the one targeting us. It seems he's no longer in Luo Yang. What is our next move, Cao Cao? Our attempts at a more subtle approach have failed. So now, we have no choice but to try and amass the strength we require to overcome him. Plan B it strength. is. So you mean raise an army? In that case, we should probably head to Chiao first. I get it. If we're raising an army, Chiao is the perfect place for it since we're where our lord is from. There must be numerous people there willing to follow him. Yes. We leave for Chiao. Wait, how powerful is he? You don't even know. Alright, so our assassination attempt, attempt completely failed. Now we're left with no other choice but to amass the army that Yuan Shao was meant to have. Created. So, oh, wait. I thought we were supposed to travel somewhere. Never mind. I guess it just, I guess it just, it 
straight into another cutscene. This live stream is funny. Welcome eh. Back, I feel like I could be better, but eh, it's my first one, so whatever. From Yuan Shao? Let me see it. Nice pop in. The traitor Dong Zhuo must be punished. We call upon those who wish to put an end to his tyranny to assemble in Luo Yang. Luo Yang? <laughs> this is quite the Luo Yang. Arms. It doesn't entirely seem like a move Yuan okay. Shao would make, though. Cao Cao, is this what you meant when you said you'd take care of things? Indeed. Once my move failed, I knew Dong Zhuo's gaze would turn towards Yuan Shao due to our friendship. As such, Yuan Shao would be forced to make a move. I simply gave him a gentle push to ensure he didn't back out. With his family's reputation, it is easy for him to send out the call to arms to take down Dong Zhuo. Huh. It seems Yuan Shao actually did the honorable thing for a change. I had no idea you were thinking so far beyond the failed assassination attempt. You're really something, my lord. However, we cannot rest just yet. Dong Zhuo will resort to bribes and threats to drive a wedge between the coalition members. We must end this before that happens. Okay. I see how we must proceed forward. But what are you planning to do about your army? In addition to troops, you're going to need equipment and supplies. How am I enjoying my live stream? I yeah. can sell my personal effects. I'm actually having quite a lot of fun the with this. We require. I barely then again, Dynasty Wars is. 9 is like a guilty pleasure for me. You're really committed to this I know that it has a lot of problems to, to it now. as a game, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. For what it is, at least. Uh, hey, horse. Nice to see you and nice to see you all comfortable in our hideouts. All right, so we're. Hey, what were we doing again? Oh yeah, we were recruiting some officers to our side, and here we have here two awesome officers. Master Lee Dion. You seem to place great value on your sense of intuition. How can you put so much trust in what is simply a gut feeling? It's not a matter of whether I trust them or not. I can't explain it. But it just hits me. Of course, not being able to explain it annoys me more than anyone. Gee, such a fabulous voice Lee Dian has. Oh, I just got another one. Eugene? I have a feeling you and I and again. are going to get along great. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Master Li Dian. Somehow, I get that feeling too. I was about to make a really terrible joke there, but I stopped myself. Uh, Chen Gong? Master Cao Cao boldly attempted to assassinate the corporate tyrant Dong Zhuo. This was an act of true courage. And this courage has drawn many warriors to him. I, myself, am one of those warriors. I intend to prove my worth to Master Cao Cao. Well, uh, it's nice to see you here, buddy. <laughs> uh, I got my eye on you. Oh, I missed somebody. Hey, it's Zhao Ren. Nice to see you too. Hey, Zhao Ren. Why are you always so serious? <laughs> oh, that buddy. You used to be, well, quite a bit more... How should I put it? Mischievous. Oh, I That's didn't know that about Sao Ren. I honestly can't picture that. More of it. I'm a very different person now. 
I would prefer that you not bring up my past. Oh, you got a Ms. What? <laughs> this. Oh, it's a cow. It, it's a cow. It scared the living heck out of me. Like, what the fuck is that? I thought that was a mutated horse or something. Like, ugh. And who's. <gasps> Dion Way! Hey! We have Are all these buddies sure here. It's okay. I'm the one protecting you, my lord. Oh, God. What have they done to you? Dion Way. You shouldn't worry about such things. Cao Cao saw all he needed to make his decision. Just because you may have been a lowly ruffian before, doesn't mean you'll always be one. You have earned Cao Cao's trust, as well as a new start for yourself. Dian Wei, if Xiao Dun vouches for you, there is nothing for you to worry about. So, can I count on you to protect me? Of course, my lord. I'll guard you with my life. Ooh, that, that voice, I, I, I honestly can't tell if it suits him or not. Like, I honestly like his, I honestly like his Dynasty Wars 8 voice more. I never thought I'd say that because I'm not a fan of that voice actor. This should be enough. I used up everything my grandfather left me to outfit this group. And oh my god, an actual cutscene. This is my entire force. Assembled here. Let's go. Nice lip syncing. That voice, I don't think if I can trust him. <laughs> uh, contrary to what you think, Scar, he's actually the best bro you could ever have. You'll see why later. Oh snap, make way for a new character. My lord, I have come all this way to fight for you. But you... Aren't you from the Hu district? Are you saying you rode all this way for me? That's correct. Uh, I heard that you were declaring yourself uncle, and I couldn't stay away. And besides, I had to join you. Uncle, eh? Huh? we are under the same sky. I see. Yes, yeah, so this is I a new character. Sao Xiu, I believe? I what, he, what, what Sao Sao just said? Yeah, a new character that was added in Dynasty Wars 9. Yes, I'll shoot. You will be in the forefront of my battles. I don't remember what his weapon is, so honestly, I'm kind of excited to play as him. Whenever I get the chance. I swear I thought he was a girl. Uh, <laughs> just you wait until you meet Zhang He. Oh, just you wait. I am here to serve as the vanguard for Cao Cao's glorious army. It is my duty to forge a path through those that stand in our Lord's way. I look forward to fighting by your side. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I didn't even get to say anything. All right. Head towards Yuan Shao. Alrighty gonna be our objective and holy shit we have a lot of allies on our side at the moment including Changong <laughs> and there's Yuan Shao all the way at Xingyang let's see all right now I could traverse through this entire area or I can just fast travel to be honest, I really don't feel like just going through that entire trail, just heading straight to Yuan Shao. And they gave you this method, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the fast travel as much as possible in this game. Because as much as I can appreciate the open world... <laughs> uh -huh. As much as I can appreciate the open world, it is a pretty damn barren open world. 
If I do say so myself, it's not all that appealing. But it does what it's meant to do, it, and I, I can't, I can't uh, fault it for that. My lord, our men are being repelled by the forces of the enemy general. Hopefully, Don't one day when we get an empire's game, as things stand, we have no chance of passing the game. It'll be worth it. What? It's one thing to struggle against Lu Bu, but how is it that we can't overcome Hua Xiong? Send in more men and overwhelm him with numbers. <laughs> but my lord, the front lines are low on provisions. Perhaps it would be better to send a supply unit and ensure sufficient supplies first. What? Yuan Shu was supposed to be in charge of provisions. The messenger has a better strategist oh, than the leader? He better not be sulking just because he hasn't been made leader. <laughs> or maybe he is withholding supplies for a reason of his own. Oh snap. My lord, this we is have some tyranny matter. on our side. The Dong Zhuo's forces are looting a neighboring village. The villagers have requested our aid to stop them. Uh, quiet! Now is not the time for me to be worrying about some trifling matter. <laughs> I point at you. Now away from me! Then, Wait, did it just pop out of existence? <laughs> What was that? Oh, hello. Huh? Who are you again? Well, whatever. Your unit doesn't seem very large, so losing you shouldn't make much difference. I will leave the village in your hands. Show the villagers the benevolence of our coalition forces. What do I mean? Uh, what exactly are you referring to? Oh, well, goodbye then. <laughs> you were also with the Volunteer Corps during the campaign against the Yellow Turbans. Oh, yes, we technically met him in the village that we were stationed in, ah, in Chapter 1. I thank you for your aid the other day. I admire your concern for the people. Still, this situation won't last. Surely you have other goals. Other desires. Why did you agree to join the coalition for this battle? I doubt that it was simply to save some tiny village that finds itself in trouble. It is just as you say. He did it for Benevolence. I wish to make a name for myself in this battle and gain more strength. That will enable me to help more ordinary people. With Benevolence. I'm afraid this is a failing of mine. If I see anyone suffering, I cannot look the other way. But I must be moving on. If you will excuse me. Oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time playing through the shoe campaign once I get to them. Is it obvious that I kinda don't huh, like Shu all the too much? Yeah, it probably is. Yuan Xiao considered the plight of the village to be a trifling matter. However, that Liu Bei fellow jumped at the chance to help them. On one hand, you slay Dong Zhuo and eliminate the source of the corruption. On the other, you save a village from plunder. It is hard hmm. to say. It's almost like this is a con convoluted way of explaining how the game mechanics hmm. work. I suppose so. While also being integrated into Sao Sao's story. Yes, I suppose I do. We simply need to remain on our path until we achieve our ultimate goal. In that case, we should be going, my lord. Everybody's eagerly awaiting your orders. Hmm. Very well. Our target is Luo Yang. We shall slay the traitorous Dong Zhuo and restore the Han Empire to its former glory. Brave warriors who have gathered under my banner, we will attack Luo Yang and slay Dong Zhuo. Yeah, yeah, you want Shao. Uh, Sao Sao already said that. Everybody move out. <laughs> 
Okay. So, let us see. Ah, there is Luoyang, and Dong Zhuo is right over there. So this is our main target for Chapter 2. Confusion at the capital. With the Emperor under his control, Dong Zhuo has become a fearful tyrant. Defeat Dong Zhuo and restore the Han Empire to its former glory. Alright. So we need to make it all the way to Luoyang. To do that, we have to fight through both Sishui Gate, which is guarded by... Hua Zhong and Hu Lao Gate. Hu Lao Gate is gonna be, it's definitely gonna be something in of itself. For now, we head to Sishui. There's also a couple of tiny side quests. We move. But we're probably not gonna do those. Oh wait. This way, all right. Listen, I am the king and you obey me. Fuck that, I'm gonna rebel. Capture Sishui Gate. Please, the mission will allow the Coalition Forces unit to advance to Hulao Gate. The time has come. All right. Now this is going to be, in, if I remember correctly, not that hard of a battle because Hua Zhang is literally nothing. There we go. Just got to destroy these little towers first. So these bow captains don't mess with me. What the fuck was that? Oh shit! They have a sort of a. Uh, is this an arbalest? I think this is what they call an arbalest. All right, let's take care of this. Easy. Holy shit! Hua Zhang actually looks pretty badass in this game. Yeah, I'm glad they actually made him uh, a unique NPC. Because, yeah, he's not actually a playable character in this game, which is kind of sad, but... They were at least kind enough to give him his own unique design. Which a lot of people have actually wanted ever since... Well, really early in Dynasty Wars. First we take care of these officers. Oh, and they're already kicking up the epic music as well. Oh, are they gonna open it for us? Zhang Ji is heading over to defend the Sishui Gate. Where is he? Ah, there he is. I guess we can just deal with him. Uso attack. Ah, thankfully I was able to aim at that. Okay, that probably wasn't the best move because I, because I shot him all the way uh, away from me. But eh, I didn't mess it up actually. Never mind. Never mind what I just said. Hua Zhong is wary of the ramps. Clear the obstacles in front of the ramps. All right. Yeah, there are a lot of assault captains here. Holy shit! I didn't even realize that. Hua Zhong is heading over to defend Sisho Gate. Wait, he's oh, he opened the gate. All right then. There he is. Okay, Hua Zhang, let's see how tough you really are. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. Oh, from what I'm seeing right now, he's not much of a problem. Okay, he got out of my combo, but I got him straight back at it. Oh. Oh shit. Caught me in a little surprise there, didn't you? Damn it, I screwed that up. No, don't touch me. Can I get him back? Can I get him back in a combo? 
before he attacks me. There we go. All right. And he's down. And I think that's his death quote. So yeah. Of course we won. We defeated Hua Zhang. Well done, you win. An excellent display. Damn, he is badass. I know, right? Especially his hair. It's all wild and all over the place under his uh, somewhat small helmet. <laughs> we move. All right, Sichui Gate has fallen. Maintain the momentum and take down Hu Lao Gate. Oh, we also have a little side mission here. Guard the village. That, I think that was supposed to be reserved for Liu Bei's team, so... <laughs> no. Okay, now that I think about it. Hu Lao Gate is probably going to be a train wreck if we don't deal with this mission. The time has come. So as much as I'm actually kind of meh about this mission, I, I'm kind of tempted to just get it over with as fast as possible. So... Let's rescue the villagers. By defeating these enemies, I guess. <laughs> these guys are definitely determined as hell. Damn it. Damn it. Can I still activate it? Oh yeah, I activate it. There doesn't seem to be a clear objective. Oh, never mind. All right, I guess we have to defeat these certain captains. Thank you so much. Yeah, honestly, this is this seems like a piece of cake. Use your special attack. Oh, this one? Do you mean? Thank you. Thank you so much. Going with the funny anime uh, racer laugh. Oh, they even changed the music for some reason. And isn't this supposed to be the track used for tough battles? Honestly, this isn't really that tough. Oh, random horse, random horse, trying to try to take me out. Oh wow, it's a horse brigade. All right, these things could definitely be annoying. If we were playing a different game. Yeah, if we were playing like Dynasty War 7, these things would be a chore to take care of. Oh fuck. What the hell am I doing? I I'm ignoring this one guy over here. Can I get him? Oh yeah, I get him. There we go. Yeah, we heard you the last time, dude. You've saved us. How kind you are. Oh, there's an actual officer here. I thought it was just normal captains, but nope. All right. Even still, new Fu, the way Fu, I don't know how to pronounce your name. You're going down. Just like everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even use the uh, instant kill. I didn't even need to use it technically because it didn't even show up. Did you just hit me in the back? And done. Oh, you our very lives. Eh, no biggie. Literally, it wasn't that hard at all. You saved everyone in the village. 
This is our most precious treasure. Successfully assisted the peasants uh, obtain gold. Oh, that could actually be useful. Never mind, I guess this was sort of worth it. Of course we won. And I was right, it definitely lowered the level of Hulao Gate, which will make things significantly easier once we head there. Uh, I'm actually kind of dreading heading to Hulao Gate right now, but... Hmm. Yeah, I have enough Vitality Powders, Spirit Powders, okay. I am more than... wait. Before I finish that sentence... All right, I, I I didn't mean to use that Muso, but all right now I am more than prepared to deal with Hu Lao Gate and Lu Bu. That's right, Lu Bu is here. Okay, wait a minute. Before I actually head to Lu Bu, I should probably take out some of these captains. They could definitely be a problem later on. Stop running in circles. No, I like it. I mean, it doesn't fit here. Oh, shit. It activated the cutscene. The super damn badass cutscene. And that awesome theme song. There he is, Lu Bu, with his trusted horse, Red Hair. There's only one of him. Don't pull back. Crush him now. I believe in you. If that's not enough to save me, that's not going to be enough. Look at this fucking dude. <laughs> He's literally a force of nature. And so is his horse as well. Blue among men, red hair among horses. That's him. <laughs> it's new boo. Let's get out of here. There's no way we will survive. He seems weak. <laughs> He don't seem powerful. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, wait. Is he actually coming over here to follow me? No, he doesn't seem like it. Okay, so this gives me enough time to deal with some of these assault captains before I actually face Lubu. I didn't mean to activate that, but... Oh, well. Holy shit, our morale is very, very low. Okay, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to deal with these guys. Run? I can't. I have to fight him. I mean, uh... Funny story, when I was first playing this game, uh... My first character that I played as was South Sao. And once I made it to Hulao Gate, this stage, I, I realized that I had to fight Lu Bu. So... I prepared myself by leveling up to level 40 and getting some of the... and getting uh, Sao Sao's ultimate weapon in the game. Even we all, even when I was level 40 and I had the best weapon, I was still having trouble fighting against Lu Bu. He's that bad. He's that bad. But then again, I didn't really understand the whole juggling system and the trigger attacks at that point, so I was still a bit of a noob. So who knows? Maybe this time I can actually face Lu Bu with some confidence. The people in the chat are, come, are cowering in fear. 
Hey, where the f Where did Lubu go? Did he just disappear? It seems the enemy has an excess of strategic positions. They won't mind if we take this one. I just realized there's a lot of captains captains here. This is the perfect opportunity to strike. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Alright. I think it's time. Better not to dilly die, and there he is. Lu Bu. With his theme song playing as well. Oh fuck. Right, first I gotta knock him off with the red hair. Also take care of these assholes. Oh shit, he got off of his horse himself. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared. Oh, and he's even rowling. Holy fucky shit! No, my health. My fucking health. Did you see that? He lowered my health to literally 1%. That's terrible! Okay, okay. I, I think I have a strategy. Get out of my way! I think I have a strategy here. That's basically spam Musos. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spam Musos and my special trigger attack, which adds invincibility frames until I take him down. I think that's how I took down took him down at South Sao. So, oh no 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 no! But they have a lot of health items as well. Come on! Oh yes, I can juggle him. Ah, oh, he got out of the juggle pretty quickly. Don't touch me, don't touch me! Don't touch me! No! Where's my spirit powder? Where's my spirit powder? Did I... Oh, I did not mean to use my aerial musso. Oh, oh, but I can, I can juggle him now. Oh, shit. No, 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 I want to juggle him. Okay. Damn it. Well done, you win. An excellent display. Oh man, I don't think I could juggle him after that move. Okay. No, I didn't. Fuck. Okay, I think I got like one health bar down, and he still has two. No! Don't, don't do it. Oh, I sure fucking hope so. Wait! I wasn't paying attention! Oh, I'm out of vi- I'm out of vitality powders. That's not good, that's not good. <laughs> can I get to him? Can I get to him? Can I get to him? Yes! No! No, this is me! I don't want to use. No! Oh, I didn't get to my health items. Well, <laughs> I tried. I tried. I definitely tried. Damn, he's that powerful. Yes. But you also gotta realize that I am playing on chaos difficulty, so this is as hard as he's gonna be. Alright, round two, Lubu. Round two. And this time I'm not even gonna bother with any assault captains. Because I'm pretty sure if I just spam my Muso attacks uh, and my special trigger attacks confidently, then I think I might be able to get through this battle. Hopefully. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping. Where is he? No, no, no. Lock onto Lubu. There he is. Alright. Round two, Lou. Boo, 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 boo. No! No! <laughs> I panicked. I panicked so hard. Damn it, damn it, damn it. 
Get him. Okay. Ooh. The best thing I'd want to do in this is juggle him as much as possible. But no mere insects such as yourself will pass through Gulao Gate. Can I get him? Alright. Oh. Did he just jump out of my special attack? The enemy is going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend at this spot. Anything I can do, uh, cheer me on. We'll be better off once we can capture that position. It must be captured at once. I think I got him. Oh, fuck you, horse. Fuck you. You, you did that to me. Oh, don't let my vengeance get the best of me. No, no, no. Why? Why is he doing this? <laughs> no. Oh. He saw an opening and he definitely took it. All right. Come, peons, entertain me. Oh, 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 that smug ass voice. Round three, round three. I, I am so determined right now. If you could tell by my clanking, if you could tell by the clanking on my controller. <laughs> Oops, yeah. That was definitely my mistake. Oh no, no it wasn't, it was the horse's mistake! A damn horse rider! Alright, Lubu. This time I'm gonna take you out. Ah. Oh. Too quickly. And I can catch a couple horse riders. Oh, you fucking horses! You fucking horses! You got in the way of my Muso! Did you not see that? Ah. Oh. Well, at least I was able to get him into a combo. But no mere insects such as yourself will pass through the loud gate. Really? He dodged the exact same way as he did in no, no, no. What the fuck am I doing? I need to stay away. Wow, I am really sucking at this. I think it's because Shaho Yuan has really low stamina, so I can't really dodge as much as I would when I'm playing at Cao Cao. I should probably do something about that when I get a level up. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. What am I trying to do? Uh. Alright. Move some. Oh fuck, he got up before I could juggle him. Oh, at least I hit him with that special, but I keep missing. Okay, timeout. Uh, let me check my equipment. I think that's all the vitality stuff I have. I have 16 vitality pills. Uh... It would probably be best if I use spirit posh spirit pills instead of spirit powders. Oh, and I completely forgot I had this. Strength pills increases your attack for a limited time. That is definitely useful. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. What? Wait. Did I just... Did, did I die? <gasps> did I just... I, I used the Muso when I Come, was technically Leon's. already dead. Entertain me. And I still used it. Oh, I'm definitely saving that moment.
Okay, but do I have my... Okay, I don't have my... Uh, what, what the f... Okay, that was my bad. <laughs> Alright, so before I fight Lubu, let me equip... A strength pill. Use it. And then switch back to a spirit powder. Wait, wait. How many vitality pills and vitality potions? Okay. We're good with what we have. Alright, Lubu. This time... I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'll succeed this time. I, I, I'm actually just... I'm not even mad, I'm just like, okay, let's let's try this again. Okay. You have courage to stand before me, but no mere insects such as I can definitely see some improvement with that strength pill. Because I've already taken out a part of his Wait, what the fuck? What happened to his health bars? Didn't he used to have like three? Uh, I'm a little confused. Uh. Whatever, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Special. Alright, can I get it? Oh, no, no, he got up. We can capture that position. Come on, come on, come on. What's up? Da. Maybe a glitch. <laughs> yeah. This game is definitely riddled with a bunch of glitches. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of them too. I mean, I don't even have that uh, special update that Koei released. And oh yeah! I took on Lubu and I did it. Ugh. You know, if that probably- if that was actually a glitch, I- I didn't seem fair. Ow, oh, well. Alright, so instead of war- instead of, uh, killing Lubu like we did with Hua Zhang, Lubu just escaped. Oh, we technically did defeat him, so yeah! Uh, what else do we have to do here? It seems the enemy has an excess of strategic nah, positions. Excuse me. They won't oh, we're supposed to be doing stuff here. Are we? Because what are these objectives here? Oh, uh, they're gone. Never mind. I was fighting in this battle. Yeah, I knew won. you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly took a couple tries, though. Alright, and now we just have a straight path all the way to Luoyang to face Dong Zhua. It's level 16 mission. Hey. Okay. Yeah, so after that last battle, I think I'm gonna level up my stamina meter. Heaven knows I'll need more stamina when I'm facing well tougher bosses. An excellent display. Discovered a base of supplies. Oh, did I? I didn't even notice. I just felt like killing that guy for no reason. Ah, there it is. Lo Yang. I won't let you stand in the way of my dream. A land of debauchery and hedonism. <laughs> debauchery. Sorry, Dong Zhuo, but you have to be taken down. The gates are tough, but the weapons can break through. Rams, forward! Alright, so we're using Rams. Where exactly? Ah, all the way over there. Good thing we're close to it. Oh. Damn it! I did this again! Oh! I actually got... I actually jumped out of the river with my horse. It's 
sweet. Clear the path for the obstacles. Reinforcements have arrived for the mountain base. The morale of Dong Zhuo's forces is rising. Ooh, that's not good. I guess we have to deal with these guys first. Apparently we have rams heading this way. Oh, was that a was that a dual insta kill? Because I heard the uh, I heard the sound effect. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy. Uh, I see some of my allies. Sao on. Oh, hey, Sao on. Alright, so these are the guys I'm supposed to deal with. Oh, screw it, I'm feeling good right now. So. Just use an aerial Musa. Wow, his aerial Musa is probably not the best uh, way to juggle enemies. This definitely has a long uh, ending period. What that mean, Ram's heading your way? Oh, this is the Ram. We're basically going to use it to break down the door to get into the capital. And those enemies were blocking the way. Thankfully, we took care of them. I mean, I could always use my grappling hook to just skip that door and head straight into the walls themselves. But what's the fun in that? I actually want to play this game how uh, the, the developers intended it to. By doing these nuanced little missions and just going through it one pace at a time. Oh wait, what the f- Seriously? Are you caught in that tower? Uh, so I have to take care of this, don't I? There we go. Onward! It's all Captain, what the- I don't even know anymore. Then, we must begin by protecting the battery rams. I don't want these guys to mess with the battery rams either. Too easy. Alright, they finally made it to the door. Now we just have to wait until they break it down. But take a while. Well done, you win. An excellent display. So yeah, this is the process of doing things in the correct order. Whoopee. Hey, at least I have some enemies to deal with right here. And now I don't. <laughs> uh, oh, they don't seem to be dealing with stuff over there. Or do they? I might as well head south and see exactly what those captains are doing. Oh cool! My uh my horse leveled up. Which means it goes a little bit more faster. Why did the music end? Oh, because I'm technically not in the area of the chapter. Whoops. Use the hook. No! I wanna play this fair and square. I don't wanna cheese the game any more than it already has because I'm basically using an end game weapon yeah see they destroyed the door good job battering rams all right now we move inside Reporting. the rams have broken through the outer gates at Luo Young. oh shit they're using catapults might as well destroy this here I didn't, again, I did not mean to use that Musa. May I have cheese? No, it's my cheese. I will use my cheese however way I want it to, and I will use it to cheese the game. Wait, is this thing even breakable? Am I just wasting my time? Okay. Uh, Lee's... Li Zhuhei. I was about to say Li Zhi. 
I don't know why. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their Really? Is it really determined? Because we're pretty much at the end game, guys. Alright. Doesn't seem to be that many officers in our way, just... It actually looks like a straight passage. It looks like a straight way to Dong Zhuo. Alright. Oh, this thing not open? Okay. So I guess this is the one time where you actually need to use your grappling hook. BRB, alright. Well, I mean, I think uh, we could just wait for some Sage Rams to head to this door, but fuck that. I'm, I'm gonna deal with it now. Simple. Oh, what's up? You guys were just standing right behind me and not doing anything? How kind of you. We shall defend this position. Do not allow us oh, and I just realized we're facing a song. Oh. It's pretty rare to see uh, anyone from the Song Clan in Dynasty War games. And again, they never really have that much. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. I actually don't know anything about the Song Clan, so they don't really get any recognition in these games, period. Guoshi and Hong Mei, or Hao Mei. Why do I keep doing that? I think every time I use my special attack, I accidentally leave my uh, thumb on the button for too long. Yeah, that that uh, obviously they both share the uh, the special attack shares the same button as the Muso attack. So unfortunately, uh, it's it's. It's just a thing I'm gonna have to get used to. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our plans. Yeah, okay, so I just need to let go of it as soon as I initiate the attack. Right, I'm gonna have to remember that. I mean, as long as I have spirit pills, I don't really have to worry about uh, using Musa. I just realized also that I haven't gotten to uh, 1,000 kills yet. I'm surprised considering I, that it's basically um, covered my kills throughout the entirety of Chapter 2. Eh, I guess I just haven't been killing many things in my way as much as I should have. I mean, all you really get from getting a thousand kills is that one you are a true warrior of the three kingdoms quote, but I just liked it. I, I, I like it. I like getting that quote. Plus you get a lot of nifty uh, experience points as well. And I won't complain about that. Again, I did the exact same thing. Hmm. I guess a special attack is just that short of a duration. Then again, it's a great way to uh, lead straight into a Musa attack, so probably remember that. Anyway, w wait, where are you? Oh, there you are, fat man. Oh, 
<laughs> Where's your Lu Bu now, Dong Zhuo? Oh, and it's raining. Hey, it's actually raining. This is a pretty nice effect here. Definitely fits the battle at hand. Alright, dude. Seriously, did you just fall like that? And you, and you were still stuck in your uh, stun animation all that time. Like, my goodness. Lubu, you are not. Kind of tempted to just end you with a Musa attack. But eh, I'll just lower your health down until I can insta kill you. That's how insignificant you are to the scope of my bow. That's right. Bow. And that's the end of Dong Zhuo. Or actually not, because he actually uh, escapes. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. You can have Luo Yang. We'll yeah, retreat he retreats straight to Chang'an with the Emperor. The and uh, no he didn't. No he didn't, Yuan Shu. <laughs> oh. What'd I miss? Oh, uh, basically us defeating Dong Zhuo. And him burning the capital of Luoyang. Jesus Christ. He left on a really bad note. Yeah, he, he's definitely not Lu Bu, and he's he's definitely not as powerful as Lu Bu. Like not even one bit. Wow, it must be loading something very important. Oh, this cutscene. Will you break our oath? Is this how you repay me? Our oath? Ah, don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. You damn minx. You planned this. <gasps> Sexy lady. <laughs> also, best character. Uh, the girl, not the not Dong Zhuo. Oi. I would say you would. Who? Dong Zhuo or Diao Chan? The girl. Because if you smash Dong Zhuo. Uh, I'm not even gonna say anything about that. Girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> but yeah, we technically didn't kill Dong Zhuo. It was in the end when he fled to Chang'an, it was actually Lu Bu who killed him, his very own loyal servant. It was also his foster son. Uh, we'll get into that when we end up doing Lu Bu or Dong Zhuo's story mode. <laughs> nice pop in there. Uh, you want Xiao? Want Xiao? Uh, why are you just standing there? Uh... Where's the dialogue? Where's the off... Uh... Game? <laughs> What's going on? Why is nothing playing? Why is there no dialogue? Why is... There's supposed to be a messenger that comes in that initiates the dialogue. Where the, Uh... 
Um, the glitch is real. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I don't I I don't even know. Like even even uh, Tao Tsao is supposed to be in the background. It's just Yuan Shao staring into space, staring off screen. I I wonder what he's staring at actually. Hmm, Zhong Hui. Awesome. Should I just skip this? Oh, but I just realized this is the cutscene that introduces Yuan Shu. Aw, oh, man. I love that character. And we're end up good. And I'm gonna miss it. He looks like he just wants to say something. He looks like he just say something really scary. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it. I think I'm just gonna skip this. <laughs> Man, I'm getting so many glitches in this live stream. First, it was that dead. Oh, never mind. Here's the cutscene. How dare he prattle on? Oh, there's the one. He never achieved anything in his life. With Dong Zhuo dead and the Emperor gone, there is no point in staying here in Luoyang. That voice, the that voice, has thrown the land into even deeper chaos. That this design, that mustache. Seize Jin Province and Jiandong. You just watch. It will not be you who laughs last, Chao, but I, inheritor of the true spirit of the noble Yuan clan. Heck, I'd serve him, <laughs> just for that voice alone. Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's doing it again. <laughs> at least Yuan Shu was able to say what, uh, at least Yuan Shu was able to say his dialogue. Why is everyone just standing there? Sao Tzu, why are you just staring at Yuan Shao? <laughs> oh, they overheard Yuan Shu's conversation. They can't believe that he's gonna take Jin Province. <laughs> They're just that surprised. What the hell? They say oh! The Imperial Seal's gone missing. Oh, I pressed the X button. Hey, do you think if I Did found you skip it, you want Shao's dialogue? Is it just you want Shao's dialogue that's glitched? What are you talking about? I'm going home before someone instigates another huh. mad uprising. Okay, you want Shao, talk again. I want to see if this is true or not. Oh, I don't think he'll talk. Whatever. Chaos in the land. <laughs> Back to the cutscene, I guess. <laughs> He was not its cause. He merely used it to his advantage. The Han has influence, but no real power anymore. In order to quell this chaos, someone must rise up with new ideals and spread them across the land. However, most of those with power are not content to stop there. And <laughs> I saw that eyebrow with their greediest desires instead. They will only serve to deepen the chaos. Therefore, Master Cao Cao, preparations to move our forces are in place. Where will our destination be? We will go Can you tell Shichang. that I am acting I very, very bored? If I am to realize my goals. The plan to assassinate Dong Zhuo was thwarted by Master Lu Bu. The coalition army, for which we use Yuan Shao, also failed to defeat Dong Zhuo. In the end, it was Master Lu Bu who slew Dong Zhuo, in confusion over the relocation of the capital to Shan An. Cao Cao seems to be doing all the legwork, and Lord Lubu ends up taking all the glory. This is a truly pitiful state of affairs. <laughs> it's like someone's wet for Lubu. I have my doubts whether he can really get anything Oh, done. definitely. He is so wet. In this wet. age of chaos, we need a man who can rise above all others. And now, if only he had his Dynasty Wars 8 voice. my own grand ambitions. And that's the end of chapter two.
Holy shit. I... It went a lot quicker than I expected, uh, to say the least. Yuan Shao, the anti Dong Zhuo coalition, succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to you his own. You want that long D? <laughs> Dong Zhuo, uh. who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords. So basically, ancient China's sibling rivalry factions. at its finest. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Was it? I heard that sound just now. I think that was a horse carriage. It was playing throughout the entire cutscene. What the hell was that? <sighs> I gotta admit, this game is very glitchy. It's almost Sonic 06 bad. <laughs> In a way, this is kind of like Sonic 06. Long low times, the fields of you province. multiple glitches. Heck, when the game was in launch, there were certain features that didn't even work, I believe. Like, the whole fishing mechanic. Uh, Amid such fear and uncertainty, the farmers are afraid. I'm sad to think fields, that it's compared to it Sonic 06. To see the land in such a state. By the way, Cao Cao, why did you choose Shu Chung? There are better places you could have chosen as a base. But the difference is this game is fun. Eh, okay, I, I'm not gonna say this game isn't fun. But what I want to say is about Sonic 06. Sonic 06 is actually fun. Contrary to what many people believe, it is a guilty pleasure in my opinion. Uh, I have a fun time playing through the game, even though it's a glitchy mess. It yes, kind of like Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces has its quirks and problems and i definitely it agree that it's not a perfect voice. game in the slightest my name is but i can have my is... fun with it my name is shun u we have been shun awaiting your Ooh. arrival master Cao Cao. <laughs> master Cao Cao. oh fuck I, I remember shun shun yu's voice if you are to stand against the chaos, the first thing you require is talented <laughs> officers to serve. Worst you. voice in the game right Therefore, here. I knew you would be drawn here to Shu Chong. <laughs> is that terrible? Ah, so you oh god. You brainy types really do scare me sometimes. Guojia and Shun Yu. I have heard of you. Oh, Guojia. Oh, I, I, I just I didn't even say anything about Guojia. Of such Best boy right there. Best boy. I ask yeah. that you join me in my quest to forge an ideal world. I shall do whatever I can to help you achieve your goal. He sounds like a robot. Yeah, yeah, he does. There will be more than just us. Shu Chung is filled with many talented officers. I am confident. They will be drawn to your yeah, at least well. Gojia still Master sounds South as sexy as he was in the previous games. Unfortunately, he's no longer voiced by Silver the Hedgehog, but eh, I can make do with what I have now. All right. All right, I wasn't paying attention to that. Starting to divide, we're already in Chapter 3 of the game. But since I've been streaming, according to my Twitch layout, for over 200 minutes, I think this is the perfect opportunity to end this. To I think this is the perfect place to stop now. So let me just save real quick. What I love about this game is that it saves pretty damn quickly. 107 hours. Holy shit. Yeah, I played this game a lot. 
ever since it was released. So, you can definitely see how long I've been playing. Oh, oh you're, you're actually sad that it's over? Oh, Scar, I, I'm actually glad that you enjoyed the stream. I, I gotta admit, I was a little nervous at first uh, since I haven't been streaming. Since I haven't streamed for like, I think it was a whole month of no s live streams or anything like that. But you know, coming back to it, it has been a pretty big joy just to you know start live streaming again. And hopefully next time, uh, I can actually be more prepared than now. I mean, I'm not gonna erase my save file or anything. I'm probably just gonna continue where we left off from here. Damn, three thirty-five thousand deaths. Yeah, yeah. That's how many things I've killed in this game. But it has definitely been a joy to be back live streaming once again, and just overall, you know, I've had a lot of fun with this. But. I think now is the best place to cut it before I start mixing up my words. I don't know exactly what to say. So, thank you for joining on this live stream, Scar, and whoever is watching out there. So, uh, I guess that's it. So, laters.